Good morning. Did you know that today is the happiest day of the year? It's a, it's a proven fact. This day in the, in the calendar is the happiest day of the year. I know. It's all, it is a fact. It was on the Vanessa Felt show. It has to be a fact, doesn't it? Anyway, welcome to the happiest day of the year. I know. God, this is the happiest. I dread to think what the worst is going to be like. But there you go. Uh, we've got a fabulous show lined up for you today. Uh, would you like to have a look at the menu? Here is the menu. Coming up today, Friday feeling. Uh, bag making with Janice. Anything could happen, Hobbs. Nine o'clock. John's haberdashery. Oh, now if you need pins or needles or sewing machine needles or anything in that hour, pop in at nine o'clock to the John's haberdashery store. At uh, 10 o'clock, uh, so a saurus. I'm saying nothing else. 11 o'clock, John's Fabric Finds. I've got lovely little bundles for you then, some books and everything to buy in. The, I've got bundles in the last hour, haven't I? Yeah, they're telling me I haven't. Oh, hang on, I've lost them now. Um, anyway, 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 uh, we want you to get in touch. And this is how you can do it. And the best way to do uh, get in touch is with the web chat, right? And the way you do that is you go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com. Oh, they've lost it. Here it is. And they wanted to put music as an underbed today. That would have been dreadful, wouldn't it? Anyway, here we go. Uh, press on Watch Today's Show. Uh, they can see the menu just appearing there. And then if you just uh, uh, drop down, you see that message to Joe, just write a little note there. Keep it to two sentences because it does cut you off. At your end, it doesn't cut you off, but at our end, it does cut you off. Say hello. Uh, or you can email us, uh, email studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com. That's the best way to send in a picture. Well, it's the only way to send in a picture or anything like that. Uh, that's studio at sewingquarter.com. Now, if you look down the screen, you'll see products from Day Show. They're all the things that uh, uh, Natasha had yesterday. Uh, there you go. Uh, that fabric there isn't black, it's navy. Uh, just, I've got that again today, by the way. Uh, but anyway, uh, so in a minute, they will all disappear. Everything on that screen will disappear, and everything from today's show will appear. Um, so all you need to do is, if you're watching a repeat later on, if you're watching at midnight, watching tomorrow morning before we come live on air, well, it won't be me tomorrow, it'll be Natasha again. Um, you can click on there, you can pop it in your basket and uh, buy it that way. Talking about popping in your basket, while the show is live, next to the screen there, where you'll see me, uh, in the box, now that's uh, a navy fabric they were selling yesterday for £3.25 for half a metre, available on the website. Uh, as I bring you items live, they will appear in that box today. You can just click on it, put it in your basket, but please, 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 if you know you want it, check out. Uh, that's because we've done this special... Um, Check out as many times as you like, but you only pay one PP of £2.95 for the whole day. OK, let's get on, because we've got Janice here. This isn't Janice, it's the bag. Well, some people have called you an old bag. I wouldn't, Janice. It's a new bag, anyway, this one. Uh, Janice is going to show you how to make it. Look, isn't it lovely? Really, really nice. Now, what we've done, we've done four kits. How very dare you, they're all saying, leave our Janice alone. We've got four kits for you. Come and have a look. Uh, ladies first, uh, this one, this one, this one, the ladies, now this, I don't know what, have they called this purple, this bundle? Grape. What you get is you get two and a half metres of fabric, you get one and a, uh, a metre of the ecru and half a metre of each other, is that right? Two and a half, yeah. So a metre of this and then half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, £30.45. and pence. You also get the thread, you also get the pattern, Yo! you also get the sewing interfacing. I hate, uh, it's weird, isn't it? I've been saying since day one, I hate these little stands, these little plate stands. 30 pounds and 45 pence. Right now, these are premieres. Now, I wouldn't normally waft at this time, but I've got to waft this, because I love this. Have a look at the, you get, so you, what you get is you get a meter of the red, you get half a meter of the, black, you get half a metre of the, that looks like uh, ivory, and then you get half a metre of this. Look, I love this fabric. <gasps> Look, isn't this beautiful? I could have a shirt made out of that. Isn't that lovely? Right, there's limited stock on this kit, apparently. Isn't that just gorgeous? £28.95. You also get the thread. Oh! You get a red. Now you see, if I was going to wear it as a shirt, that's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Okay, so that's £28.95, that kit. Okay, next one is Elephants on Cream. And this comes with, like, uh, an ecru, 
uh, a brown, a green, and the elephant fabric, which I will waft for you later. You're gorgeous. So you get a meter of this, half meter, half meter, half meter, and the thread, and the pattern, and the interfacing. Now, here's some sew-in interfacing, just so you know. $28.95. And then last but not least, I love this one. This is my, this, this um, is my next favourite after the zebras. And I know I'm not allowed favourites. This is elephants on grey. So what you get is you get a metre of the grey. Then you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre. Right, now just to warn you, this has got the least amount of stock in it, this one, for some reason. £28.95. You get the thread, you get the pattern, and you get the interfacing, the sewing interfacing. Right, thank you. Let's crack on. I'll just wait for them to come up. Janice. Good morning, John. How are it's you? been too long, it has hasn't it? It's been too long, so I'm grey today, John. Silver. I'm your colour, John. <laughs> See this, Janice. Um, it's the happiest day of the year, Janice. It is going to be a happy day today as well. I've uh, decided. Now, uh, that's <laughs> okay. what all the supermodels are wearing, though, isn't they it? That silvery grey. Supermodel. supermodel. <laughs> just, just, the only thing is, you're not tall enough, are you, know, to be a supermodel? I know. That's I've got high heels on, haven't I? Oh, yes, actually, she's got high heels <laughs> I've got on. So. Heels on. Uh, that's why little Paul dyes his hair grey, what hair he's got left, because at least I haven't got a ball patch on the back. Anyway. No, at least you've got hair. At least I've got hair, exactly. <laughs> not as much as I did have. Looking no. back over photos, you suddenly realise, don't you? Anyway, stop no, chatting. Anyway, stop chatting. You get the pattern, you get everything you need in the kit to make this bag. Yeah. What Lovely. standard of sewer do you have to be? Sewist, do you have to I'd be? I'd say. Um, confident beginner? Yeah, confident intermediate. Beginner. Are confident there beginner. difficult things to show? Because we're not going to make it's the whole just bag, the are we? Pocket and putting the course the bottom on the. You know, okay, the are they the techniques we're going to concentrate on today? Well, no, I'm going to concentrate on the pocket first. Yes. And then we're going to see how far we get. Okay, then, really. perfect. So, right, um, 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 but I am going to adjust the front and the back and the sides right. so that we can attach the pocket to it. Okay, I think it's that, um, I think that um, message is from yesterday that I've got there. Nice. So, Mary, John, any day you're on makes me happy. Oh, Mary, <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Lovely. Isn't Aww. it nice? Oh, thank well, you. you're such a nice person. Uh, so. Hang on, I've got one from Mary and I've got one from our son, apparently. These are blowing in too. No, what's the son say? Morning, John and James. Morning, son. Morning, Looking son. forward to another <laughs> great show. Right, OK, right, off so, you go. So the pattern. So the pattern... Have you got yours there? Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Or if I'm you not. know, I'll, I'll get um, no, Amy to shut that one over for me. Just the pattern, Amy, thinks. Thank you. So, the pattern... Uh, now, there's other different... Oh, there's different options. There's different, there's different options. options to make on the pattern. The Butterick Waverly pattern. But we're making bag B with the bright big pockets. So, now, you're getting two and a half metres of fabric, so you can make an awful lot of different uh, variations anyway. But there's all the different patterns. I'll show you the, the on the back as well for you. All the different variations. So, what, which one are we making? We're making one. B. What? B. B. Number one. Oh, B. It's B. We're doing B. All yeah, right, then. Let's go. B. Nora, okay. morning, John and Janice. I love it when you two are on together. Brighton's morning. my day. Morning. Love the bag, too. Lots of love, Nora. So when you said is it, she's talking about you? She's talking about you. She's talking about her <laughs> on the bag. <laughs> uh, Linda, OMG, the A-team, settling down for an hour of pure joy. There's two hours, though. There's this hour, hours, and then there's and 10 o'clock, isn't there? Right, 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 go so on with it, The first thing we do, we attach the front and back to the sides, which is pieces six and seven. But, of course, you've done all your tailor's tacks and your placement lines. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to express to you as well, there's a placement line there and there's a placement oh, line right, Hang on a second. Let's just wait for the upstairs camera to join you. And number six. Let me move that one out of the way. Yes, yeah, so there's a placement line. Where are yeah. we? Here. And there. Yeah. And here. Oh, OK. Now, normally, with tailor's tacks, you only do a few. Yes. Please do not do that with this back. Oh, okay. Because you have to, you'll see it later on, but I would advise you do these straight across so you get a good line. Right. If you can see on the black on there, yes, yes, that's yeah. done. Let me turn that round so you can see it more probably towards your side. Um, I'll yes. Do all across. I'm one that doesn't like doing tailor's tacks, so if I'm doing them, there's a reason. Right, okay. <laughs> so make sure you do it on number six and number seven. Okay. With that. Let me get them away. Now, these also would be interfaced, but I just haven't had time to do right, it. Right, okay, today. the stitching so, interfacing, is it? Yeah, uh, John, Janice, and a bag project. What else do you need to a great start to the day? Lots of love, Lorraine. 
That's nice, isn't it? Um, someone's asked, no name on it, do we sell the, the zebra fabric on its own? Paul's all just finding out for you. Paul is just finding out for you. Right, so the first thing we're going to do with the zebra fabric is just machine down, and with these, it's half inch seams on these, on the bag. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to machine down. Yeah, get the right way up, Tammy. Yeah, make sure you have it. Come on, Janice, you've got one job. <laughs> Janice, the bag maker. I oh, know, the bag lady. Now, That's you, terrible. Uh, <laughs> what are you muttering about now? No, I'm just saying the bag lady. So, I'm just yeah, pinning it first. <laughs> so, let me just pin it down. And of course, you can, if you're unsure, if you're a beginner, you can always just, mush, tap, you know, tap it down. Where's your microphone? Stitch. Oh, it's way down yeah. low today, isn't it? Let me lift my top There you up. go. I'll, I'll just, sta I'll, <laughs> I'll stand, stand here holding it back like that. <laughs> stand for the show doing that. So that's the sides. Right. And then just this again. I'm pinning it quickly. Oh, I see. I thought the main bag was the, the solid colour, but the main bag's actually the pattern colour. And then you add the, the pocket. The pockets in the plane. In the plane. Yeah. And then you get more of the ecru in this one because yeah. that's your lining as well, isn't it? Yeah. Got it. But at first I'm with you now, well, Janice. I'm did, up to date at now. At first as well, I did think it should have been the other way round. What, the pocket should but, have been the pattern? Yeah, but it would be too busy. I don't think it Well, it depends. Nice. it depends. Some people like busy, Janice. Yeah, but I don't know. I think the pocket, I think it's... Because you get, you get the red is the lining on this one, is it? Yeah. But you can see, you can see more with it being a plain pocket. I think you can see more of the beauty the pattern, of it. The yes. Do you know what I mean? I think if it was, I think if it was in the actual pattern, it'd get lost. I don't know what you think. Well, I'll go with you, Janice. Right. Uh, yep. Good morning, John and Janice. Looking forward to the show and the banter. I do love watching you two working together. Lots of love, Leslie. It's not work. It's an ordeal, <laughs> Leslie. An ordeal. It's an ordeal. Thank you, John. Love you too. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm going to do, John, yeah, on, is then. just machine down All right. to the actual notch on the bottom. The bottom notch. Um, what are you looking for? So, if I just that show you... That line that you just showed us. Just, oh, no, no, no the notch. No, down to that yeah. notch. There, oh, okay. Machining down to. So you're not. Oh, now that's well, interesting. No, you don't do it all the way down, John, because of the adding the bottom on. Okay. You need. Well, to no, be no, able because normally to... you go right the way down to the bottom, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but because Thank you. But because you're putting the bottom onto the back, you need uh, that. You need the leverage. You need the oh, leverage. Oh, so what you normally do is so right the way to the bottom, then snip it later, and this way you're yeah, just not you having to snip it you later. Don't. You just do this. So we go careful, back and forward. And that's happened. So quickly, do the side seams. And this is a beautiful fabric. And it's a lovely fabric to work with as well. And I could see you with your shirt. As soon as you saw it, you said shirt, didn't you? And I thought, yes, I can see Johnny. Yeah, it'd shirts. be nice, wouldn't it? This is that lovely made. fabric, isn't it? Really lovely fabric. That's it. So we're just going down here. If you've got any questions for Janice, remember, just get them in. Just web chat them in. And, of course, if you put your pins in straight, you can go over and you don't break your needle. The uh, zebra pattern is uh, the most popular at the moment. Oh, we're still finding out if we can do the fabric on its own. I hope so, because I love it. I've never seen it before. It's a premiere. What's a premiere? Premiere today. Uh, oh, that means there must be some. And the elephants are premieres as well. I've seen the elephant print before, but not in those colourways. In fact, Paul, you know Paul from um, Sewing Bee, he's got, he's got, he, he loves elephants, right? He's got a shirt made out of the elephant fabric, not the two we've got today. Elephants are popular than the zebras. Yeah. I've got elephants all over my house. But you know, you, when you, you have an elephant ornament, you should never have it facing the door. Because, is that nice? No, I have. I've got, got a huge elephants. house, Paul. Um, Paul said I must have a big house, I have lots of elephants in my house. Uh, my friend Lady Audrey's bought me a lot, but when you have an ornament of an elephant, never have it facing the door, because that means the energy's all... Feng Shui, Feng it's Shui, feng whatever it's shui, called, it? means the energy's all leaving the room. So all your elephants have to be facing into the room, not out of the room, if you believe in that sort of thing. Gosh. I do think there's something in that Feng Shui. Do what? I do think there's something in that. I think there's something, in definitely yeah, something in definitely. it, yeah. 
Because you, you never know what, you know, because we've never been here before, you, you just never know what, you know, it's all, it's You've been here before, it's, it's, you've been, did you, you got the bus all right this morning, didn't you? <laughs> you know what I mean. But have you been here before? You might have been here in a different life, Jenny. That, but that's, that's what another I'm story. saying. That's what I'm saying. It does make yeah. you wonder. Right, so that's your bag done. Yeah. So we won't press it yet, we can press it afterwards when it, I'll get on with the pocket. So that's your, I'll just show you. Yeah. That's just the actual main body. Right, which now normally would be, you'd have interfacing in yours, Jenny yeah. just hasn't done it to save time. So morning. again, there's the placement line. And, and it, does see, the placement line go all the way around the side panels as well? All the way around, all the way around the yeah, side brilliant. panels as well. So if I leave that there for now. Okay, you're going to make the pocket now then. And now I'm going to make the pocket. Right. So. So the pocket is number eight. Right. To begin with. Right, now what's that red so, bit for there now then? Now I'm going to show you, John. Oh, okay. Well, no, so I can't see it on this bag here. The that's pocket all. pieces are number eight and number nine. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. All the instructions are in the kit, the, aren't they? In the Number um, nine, pattern. I've already done and I've sewn, sewn it. So you cut out your number nine. <laughs> I need to get, I haven't got a bulldog clip or something. <laughs> Not for a face. We don't need a bulldog clip. You can have a wonder clip, can't you? Oh, yeah, where are they then? I don't know. I haven't got that. Amy, could you get me some wonder clips, the jumbo ones, please? Trisha Ann, morning, John and Janice. Had to order Zebra and check out my basket. Thank you again, John, for sorting my... Oh, that's, that's oh. Trisha Ann. Now, Trisha Ann had a problem last week and she emailed me and I said, well, I'll try and... I'll try and sort it out for you. So I passed it on to Sarah, who passed it on to the right person. It's all being sorted out now. Oh, she cool. had one of her settings wrong. She couldn't buy on the web because she had one of her settings wrong, oh, I think. Right. And then sorted out. Great show, she said. Oh, no, this is from Karen. Morning, all. I'm with you, Janice. Put the plain material behind the nice material. Great show. Oh, yeah. OK. There you go. So with number nine, you have to cut out number nine. Yeah, on the fold. On the two. And there's yeah. two of them. Oh, and yeah. You, and you join them at the sides. OK. But then what you have to do... Right. You have to cut out a number nine again. Right. But this time it says on here that you cut out off for the lining. So, <laughs> have you got me a bulldog thief? Yeah. It's a good Sorry, job everybody. I know you, John. Oh, it's on, a no, good job I know you. for the pattern, because I'm doing my... This is what we do at London Fashion Week. You used to do it at London Fashion Week all the time. <laughs> right. Don't so, stretch your arms, Janice. <laughs> so, it there says cut off the lining. Yeah. OK, so what I did, because you've got to cut this out twice, yeah. I actually just folded it in half, took that in, and that's the shape you need. OK? Right, um, go through that again. You'll have to be okay. straight away. So... You've got to have your pattern piece number nine. Yes. On there it says cut off the lining. Oh, okay. Don't cut it. Don't off. cut the pattern. No, I see don't what cut you're the pattern. Right now. Just fold it in half. Yeah. And press on it. Yeah. Tuck that in. Yeah. And then to get that. that is that shape. Okay. So rather than wet, ruin your ruining your pattern. pattern, but also where it's got on the back stitching line that has got to be placed on the fold. Right. Or, if you put it on a stitching line, it needs to have a seam allowance. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but it's better placed on the fold. And why that is, is because your number eight, your pocket... Yes. Right, this one. You open it out. Or, oh, no, I went Janet. To pull the tailor's stuff. And what you have to do is attach... That's it, I did that. That. To that. To that. Of course. And then what you're doing, you're getting the inside lining of the bag. Oh, so that's this is the why, red equivalent. Yeah, the, oh, God, yeah, God, that's why I'm concentrating on the pockets. No, 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 that's because good. Because it just needs a bit, you no, know. No, that's excellent. So well, then, yeah, the thing is, I think people would rather see, if we've only got an hour, people would rather see techniques than you get halfway through the bag and me go, right, Jan, it's rest time. Yeah, and it's just time. The, and you're not, so let's concentrate you're not on the pocket because so the pocket just, looks confusing. It's, it's a bit confusing. So it's almost like doing a facing and a lining a for inside the pocket. It is a facing. So it is called the facing. So oh, they call it a facing, yeah. yeah. So then all you do then is you attach the facing. Yeah. It's very dramatic in the black and the red. I know it? it is, isn't it? It's not, and it's going to look fabulous with yeah. that red the zebra. So enjoying it. So again, just pin it. Again, if if you're unsure on your half inch seams, just and then of course you've got your seams right, which is now at my bible. Apart from my uh, seam ripper, my seams right. 
that will show you your half an inch. And if you haven't marked your, um, if you're not quite sure, is it half inch seam allowance on this yeah, bag? Yeah, half an inch seam allowance. Uh, this is a brilliant bag. little device. It's called Seams Right. And if you see on it, look, this always sells out whenever you show this. See all the little green bits there? That's uh, three eighths of an inch. That's five eighths of an inch. That's a quarter of an inch. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Sorry. sorry. Just get that. Uh, then across the bottom here, you've got uh, one inch there. You've got uh, the three quarter inches there. You've got the half inch on the corner there. But you've also got that quarter inch there. And you've also got, at oh, wrong end, this end here. One and one eighth, does that say? It's brilliant. And then if you're measuring a buttonhole, this is fantastic. And it's credit card size. Just slip it into your... your, your uh, I don't know if you'd need it in your wallet, but you could have it in your... In your um, Stick, what am I trying to say? Haberdashery kit. Yeah. Haberdashery kit. And I'll tell you what it was good for. Again, if oh, I yes. reference the bag, yes. you won't get this far. You see this stitching here? Yeah. Well, on the machine, you can't get so much in. Oh, okay. So I used this to measure the half an inch as I was going uh, across. Oh, brilliant, And then yes. on the machine, I was literally following and pulling that. Uh, as I was sewing, and it gave me the the line, yeah. half an inch. So this is now becoming my Bible. I mean, good work, Janice. Good work. That and the seam ripper, your two uh, favourite pieces, aren't yeah. they, kids? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe when I found that. <laughs> when I started even found that, I thought, what a great thing. So, <laughs> so again, as well, if you cut this red on the fold, yeah. Because the way I always start is I always try and match the seams together. So oh, I put the yes. fold on there to the fold on there. And I always start in the middle. Yeah. And work, work, work out my way once. out. So again, we just machine. Okay, while well, you machine that, I've got these. a stock update for you. <gasps> a third of the zebras have gone already. A third of the zebra kit has gone already. Ooh, oh, that doesn't that. sound right, does it, Janice? No, it doesn't. Uh, right, do you know what? Come with me. Well, Janice just sorts that out. Come with me. Um, I've got... We've done something very sneaky for you. I don't know if you can see me coming all the way over here. Yes, you can buy the fabrics by the half metre as well. Right, let me do the metres by uh, the half metre first. Let me move all these out of the way. <gasps> now, this... You see, it's a bit like the other day when I had the, the poppies fabric. I couldn't believe... At the price, right? This, you can buy it by the half metre. This is obviously a metre I'm showing you now. I love this. I love this. Look. Oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. I love it. I love it. Do you want to have a close look? The vibrancy of the red and then the, the starkness of the black and white zebra. It's £3.55 for half a metre, remember. Now, if you're buying on the web, you need to put in half metres one unit, one metre is two units. If you want more than a metre and a half, you have to ring the call centre. They haven't sorted out the glitch yet. They're being a little bit slow with that. And I've got my... I've got my oh, i tell you what, I've got my appraisal. You might not see me again after today. I've got my appraisal after the show today. I might get in there and might go, you're rubbish, John. Leave this minute. Pack your bag and leave this minute. Imagine they can't because I've bought my Christmas shirts. My Christmas in July now. I can't be going yet. But that's Christmas. They could say you can leave at the end of the month, I suppose. Couldn't they? Anyway, I've got my appraisal. So I'll be having a lot of words about other things as well. But they've got to talk about me first. Uh, elephants on cream. This is nice as well, isn't it? Aren't they cute? Um, elephants. £3.55 for half a metre. Now, remember, when you buy this as well, it comes in a box. You get it all beautifully wrapped in tissue paper in a box when you buy fabric off the roll. £3.55 for half a metre. 100% cotton, machine washable. Oh, gorgeous. The other elephants now. Now, this is, this is a little more um, subtle, this one. Not like me. She says the abuse I'm getting from her. Says that, that, I'm going to write that, write that on my list now. I'm going to write that on my list of things to discuss today. Both Michaels, both need a haircut as well. At three pounds and 55 pence for half a metre. Right, I've got emails, which I can't read on my, uh, my what's it called? Uh, device, tablet thing. Annie 
wonderful program, Annie says, with su Sweetie Janice. Oh, and the lovely Sean. A great double act. Thank you. Oh, St. Quarter makes me happy, happy, happy. Oh, I'm glad. We had an email from Karen. Good morning, you happy pair. You brighten my day every time. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet of you to say. Thank you. Uh, look. Now, this is called candy, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Oh, it's grape, this one. Glamour grape, this one's called. It's lovely, isn't it? All the like, 1950s ladies shopping by the... Well, are they in Blackpool or are they in Paris? That's what we need to know. Yeah, Parisian. If they're in Blackpool, they'll be on the way to Harry Ramsden's, wouldn't they? Other chip shops are available. Nice, isn't it? 4 95 for half a metre. Uh, do you want me to quickly go through the bundles or should I go back to Janice now, now that the machine's working? Right, okay, Janice. Okay, so you can see what I've done there, John. Oh, what, broken another machine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see Behave what you've yourself. done. Behave yourself. yourself. Do you need well, the iron out yet? Yeah. But what throws me as well, because I've always been a dressmaker, and when I'm having to do different sizes, so I, I always go to do 5-8. Oh, yes, automatic. Automatic, <laughs> automatic isn't God. it? So we need the iron now. Yeah, so I'll if you look, I've just stitched down the both of them. And now what we're going to do is press... Or Ryan. <laughs> you or are, Ryan. I'm not. <laughs> oh, no, look. Who's been in here while I've been away? They've burnt the blooming mat. Oh, I love it the way you said that. I am, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that so you're pressing the seam open. Yeah. It's like the what? It's like the advert where you see that man who goes... Has somebody been in I to do your microphone while I've not been here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on. I don't do um, folding of clothes or something. It's an, ad an advert. <laughs> And he's a lovely man. What's the advert? I can't think, but he does. I don't do folding. And what's what's he trying to say? To you when you were doing that. I can't remember. No, everybody thought the advert that I should have got was, uh, I think it was for an insurance company, and yes. it was a man in a, in a shop with a model, a designer shop, and, and he said, it's not a shop, it's a boutique. <laughs> and it was, obviously it was obviously based on me, that whole thing. Marcia, good morning, lovelies. I miss the two of you. Great bag. See, they all love you. Great bag. <laughs> uh, Karen, good morning, John. And oh, Janice, lovely demo yet again. Got my seams right yesterday. Amazing Ooh. little gadget. Well done. That's Karen. Well, well done, Karen. Done. So what we have to do now is we have to just do... Do you want me to iron that? If Press you that. Think, if you look at that now, if you... Oh, yes, if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that is just a replica of that of number nine. Yeah. But again, this is just half and oh, half. Oh, so this is the outside of the pocket, and yes. that's the inside of the pocket. So Got what you we're now. going to do now is just join the side seam, and again on this again, always make sure your seams match because you don't want it looking out of sync. Yeah. So if you just always put your pin into the seam and make sure you go through. The corner there, then there. Yeah. Because then what you're doing, you're showing, and you should, if you've got the pin in, it should match yeah. both sides. So if you do that, and then pin it, that's the key. That's it. Just double Was check. it moved? I think it's moved. Loads of messages, yeah, Janice. Moved. John, the it's zebra moved. material suit. Oh, is the zebra suitable? I'll start that again. John, is the zebra material suitable for an outdoor cushion pad? Um, it is, but it's not. It's not like um, it's not like a. Oh, it's hundred percent cotton, right? But it's more of a shirt weight than an upholstery weight, wouldn't you say, Janice? Yeah. It is. It, it would is. do, but if it, 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 you might need cotton. to back it on something. If you're making cushions for outside, you might need to back yeah. it on something, yeah. mightn't you? Really? Oh, I think so. And the thing is, as well, with these fabrics, you know they're not going to run. No, they're not, not going to run to the rain. in the wash, or and that's the beauty of yeah. these fabrics. Um, but it is more like a shirt fabric, Karen, than, a, a, than a, an outdoor fabric. Next. And I must admit, what happened yesterday, with what I'm making in the second show, which I'm not going to say yeah. yet, um, my tapping <gasps> cotton ran into the fabric. Sorry, I've just seen a message from Anne. Tash would press for you, Janice. I just did! I just did, Anne! <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it, I'm not pressing anymore. <laughs> Good morning. If they give you the boot, I will not watch anymore, John. You're in spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're
You're inspiring and a joy. Lots of love, Judy. Is that like Richard and Judy? <laughs> Richard and Judy. Oh, thank you, Judy. Are they still going, Richard and Judy? Right. Well, they're still alive, if that's yeah, what you they mean. Yeah, they are. They're very successful uh, novelists now. I know, they are. They're writers, Thank aren't you. they? They're part of the book club, and that, aren't they? Shall so I this again... one again for you? Just to please Anne. <laughs> Anne! What you could do is iron the seam. Do what? <laughs> iron what? The seam. <laughs> the seam open. Iron the seams open. I'll iron those for you, shall I? <laughs> you can. I'll let you. <laughs> I'll keep you off the streets, John. <laughs> you're you're going to do some of I know. <laughs> Let's do something to earn my money, haven't let's we? Let's <laughs> And it's a nice way to earn money, let's face it. That's the one scene. Oh, now there's a special effect, right? There's, an, uh, there's a special effect, right, that they want to do for the start of Janice's second show. <laughs> right? <laughs> I and I said, should. oh, I'm not you doing no. that. Oh. And they're all getting at me now. Let me know. I think you should. It's apparently, it's apparently, it's one of the most... I worked in Hollywood. I worked on films, right? Um, and I've never seen it. Anyway, uh, should I do so the special effects or not? Don't get excited. It's ever so famous. Is it? Yeah. Everybody... It was the, the world biggest grossing films of their time, aren't they, when you think about it? My favourite. I was so pleased I was doing it, I tell you. All right, then. Well, let me know if you think I should do and everybody, Paul's special effects. And Michael, and Michael's special effects. Everybody knows who knows me would say that's right of Janice's street. Well, I, could, I don't want to give it away, but I could say something there, couldn't I? Do you want me to iron that one now? You've just got to press the seam open again. So you can finger press it. So, again, you can just press the seam, quickly open. Oh, no, you can press it. I'm okay. going to talk... I've got to talk about fabrics. <laughs> I can't keep expecting you to No, do exactly. It. No matter what no. Anne says. No. Uh, four options, remember, to make this bag. Remember, the Zev one is very, very, very low. You've got the great one. So what you get there is you get one metre of the uh, ecru. And so that's not ecru, is it? OK. Uh, then you've got half a metre of the two purples and half a metre of the ladies. Thirty pounds and forty-five pence. Next one is there, but you also go look at the sewing interfacing, the thread, and the pattern. Uh, you get um, what you get in that one. Now they're in the wrong order. You get a meter of the red, and then you get half a meter of the back, half a meter of the vanilla, half and the R ivory, and half and half a meter of the zebras. Twenty-eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Then we've got the grey elephants. Now with those one, you get oh they got this one in the right order. A meter of the gr pale grey, half a meter of the cream, half a meter of the dark grey, and half a meter of the elephants. Twenty-eight pounds and ninety-five pence, along with the interfacing, the thread, and the pattern. Last but not least, the elephants are on their side on this one. Who's taking these pictures today? Right, you get a meter of the ecru. Then you get that one is ecru, isn't it? That one. Yeah, because the other one's not ecru, the other, one, the other one's ivory or vanilla. Ecru, then you get half a metre of the lime green or the pistachio green, half a metre of the brown, half a metre of the elephants. Right, okay. off you go. So then what you do... You've so got... I couldn't have done ironing and that talking at the same no, time, couldn't. Janice. No, this I'm is a man, I can't, can't multitask. No, I can't expect too no. much, John. Right. No, what bit is done, which is more than my other half does. So <laughs> many <laughs> things you do, do for me, I'm very grateful. Right, anyway. Right. So now what we have to do is attach the lining to the actual... All oh, right, now I turn that the right way out. Do you no, want that's it right, right because that's right. you need the right sides together. Oh, OK, perfect. So here, you want the right sides together and we're, again, you go seam to seam. Always start with your seams. So, put the pin in there. Yeah. Again. Is John... No, I'm not going to be King Kong, whoever that's from. I'm not going to be King <laughs> Kong. <laughs> Michael, it's up or stated. Everyone's guessing now. Aren't Everyone's going to guess now, yeah. <laughs> it's not a film that I worked on, so if you know the films that I worked on, it's not for many of those. So I'm not going to be like Angelina Jolie running along in a grey t shirt <laughs> or anything like that. <laughs> Mine went straight to video, did they? Only one of my films went straight to video Ghost in the Darkness. That's one I, I spent in when I lived in Africa for seven Scar. months. <gasps> it's a fantastic experience, you know, dreadful this, film. The, the things this man has done, you'd never believe it. Say that again. The things this man has done. Work-wise, you mean? Oh, yes. Yeah. Very proud to be working with you, John. Little Paul says he'd like to reveal some of my out-of-work activities as well, but <laughs> luckily you can't hear him. No. <laughs> right, so again, starting... So that's the one side pin, so we pin the other side, start with your centre seam, give you a good guide, 
and then we're going to machine down. I could be if we did if we did do um, a gorilla toy or something like that. I could do a King Kong, and it could be me holding on to the Empire State Building, wherever it is. <laughs> <laughs> I That's like them films say. as well. I, I think that all the one, films are good, and the Planet of the Apes. I like that one as well. I cried at that one, oh, and all my friends took the Mickey out of me because it was one of the so. first times we'd all gone to the cinema together. Oh, I, I cried. Love, I love film. Yeah. I do love film. So it's a lovely film, isn't it? There is some lovely films, and I remember in the old days when the old John Waynes and that were about people. Who? Who get, John Waynes oh, and that. Before my time, that John. Well, you know, <laughs> the Sunday afternoon <laughs> film. Oh, okay. When your dad come back from playing football. Yeah. And had his Sunday dinner and fell asleep while we watched the Western on the television. Um, but yeah, but people used to say, how are they going to replace these film stars? I'll never know. But they do a good job, don't yeah. they? Well, there's always um, someone coming along behind. There isn't is, there? isn't there? So, never me, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> never me. So, what we're doing now is we're machining. All the way round. Just round. Oh, not all the way round. The way we've pinned round. Right. So you're there. not, so you're machining, just show on here. See, you're, you're not. You're, you're machining all the, that seam. That's it. We're just going to machine that seam. Leave everything else raw. Leave everything else raw. Yeah, we're just going to, normally what you do, you'd bake it for a bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There was a thing on the news, there wasn't there, about a couple at their engagement party and they'd uh, yes. arranged it all and everything. She went straight into him, he passed out, and she's hurt her back and everyone laughed, <laughs> thinking it was part of the joke, and then they suddenly realised they had to call an ambulance for them. They're fine, they're fine. <laughs> no, she's fine, they're both fine. Now, if we press this open, don't panic about it getting creased everywhere else because at the end of the day, you can repress that, re -press that down. So, just press that down. Oh, she's raised up. We've got about 15 minutes, Jenny. She's all right. Press it down. Oh, can you side. imagine doing the dirty menu, doing the dirty no. dance? <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to have a practice, John. Yeah, oh yeah, we haven't rehearsed it. Otherwise, we do it, obviously. We haven't rehearsed it, have we? Oh, so the studio's not long enough. Janice will have to take a right old run up to it, wouldn't she? <laughs> Gosh, you're going well, that's back really years. really made me laugh. Can you imagine that? Like... You'd have to lift me up. I'd have to run to you. <laughs> oh, funny. Or could you imagine, though, Patrick Swayze? Anyway. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on, though, it's like... So again, name it. So, because what we've got to do, we've got to top stitch. <coughs> so we close we could do a calendar, couldn't we, of all scenes from iconic scenes from Hollywood movies. <laughs> so we could be in a lake, and I could be holding you up like that. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I could be uh, Superman like that, and you could be Lois Lane. <laughs> Lois Lane. Oh, there's loads, isn't there? Now I was pretty woman. I could be Richard Gere. Oh. You could be Julia Roberts. Oh. <laughs> Getting carried away now. Just. Yeah, carry on. Just do your sewing. Right. OK, it's so... It's very cold in here, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, normally we'd press that again, but I just want to try and get Roll to Roll it, the, yeah. Get to that bit. So we'll, you then top stitch a quarter of an inch. Round both of them. Round the edges. And again... I always use the end of a foot as a guide so that you don't go off. I always try not to go off, you see. So if I use the end of the foot as a guide. Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta in, in um, what's that one, the Grease? Yeah, did you see that where they got back together and sung on... Uh, she was in doing a concert and they actually... Oh. Yeah, they reenacted it and they, they looked really good. Yeah, it was lovely. Aww. Good morning, John and Janice. Where have you been, Janice? I've missed you. You're a great double act, lots of love and may. Oh, that's nice. Isn't it? Making bridesmaid dresses. <laughs> She's busy making bridesmaid dresses at the moment. I b oh, OK. Beverly butts the side seams together, like in quilting, rather than sewing them as a seam. So you butt them together like that. Oh, right. We don't know that. You have to I've learn then, Janice, wouldn't you? I know. I ought to do some quilting. Check out, check, oh, no, please check out your baskets. The, because I don't want anyone to be disappointed. That's the only reason I say it. The thing is about this bag, this is the main part of it, really, is yeah. the actual pocket, and it does take time. And, of course, you don't want to rush it. So no. it's best to... And also, it is unfair um, making you try and do as much as you do in and out. You know what I mean? Because at home, yeah. you take your time with you it, wouldn't you? You can take your time. And when you're rushing it, it's... You <coughs> make mistakes, don't you? So. Lovely together. Talking though, about Russian, um, you know when I used to do, uh, if any of you follow me from another place, I used to do a Russian dark side, and I used to say, oh, you'll all be rushing into this. All I was only watching Deals with Kieran yesterday, and he did exactly the same thing. Yep. Morning, John and Janice. Love it, your double act. John, your appraisal will be fine as you're a great presenter. I really enjoy watching the shows you are on. Thank you, Anne, my love. Thank you. Oh, oh it's everything. everything. It was his last day today, I think, yesterday. OK. Right. So there you go. You've got your Looks like a big pair of pants now, <laughs> Janice. Look. <laughs> <Just doesn't... laughs> look. I put it in front of Janice. Look. Big pair of pants. <laughs> They're bigger than me. <laughs> They're like my speedos, those from my holidays. So then, what you have to do is just tack. Yes. And baste. Oh, what are you doing there, then, Sam? Just basting the top. I don't think they'd fit me. I get them on one leg, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to tack. Not doing very well with my tacking at the moment. No, what are you doing, Janice? Getting myself in a mess, John. 
<laughs> right, so all we do is just a running stitch. Oh, it was funny the other day. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, I was doing the sewing. I was doing... What was I doing? I was, Were you at home I, sewing? I was doing something at home. It's do with the show. Yeah. And I was doing a running stitch. It was that, going all the way around there. Yeah. That was it. And I was... The chase was on in the background. Oh, yes. And it came up with one of the questions. And what did? About running stitch. Running stitch. Oh, how funny. About... And I was sitting doing it. Oh. And he got it wrong, the chaser. Got it wrong. The chaser got it wrong? He got it wrong. He, he said... Um, what did he call it? He said, it? well, how do I know what it is? He said, I think he called it a walking stick. It, it was a walking stitch, he called it. And the oh. woman said, you're thinking of a walking stick. Is there such a thing as a walking stick? stitch? No. No. And, of course, he, this, it was the mark. And he said, um, and he said, well, of course I don't do sewing, he said. And I was sitting there doing oh. stitches. I, was, I thought, how funny. Yeah, but he got it wrong. And oh. I thought he'd have known that. He should have known that. Yeah. So, so there you go, girls and men who do sewing, you know more than Mark the Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just stitched across there. That's it. And I'm and just stitch stitching, stitching across this All right. one. All okay. right. Okay. Just to keep it flat while you. Yeah. So I do it like that quick. So you go in, up, in, up. In, up, up. Like exercise. Up. In, up. Aerobics. That's when you get used to doing it, you see. In, up. Do a little cast off. And cut it. And that's the top. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're now going to place this. <gasps> Dorothy in Bolton. I'm going to be sure over the weekend. I'm going away for my 70th birthday. Oh, oh have happy a lovely birthday, time. Dorothy. I'm not on. So it doesn't matter, I'm not on Dorothy. Have a lovely Have time. a lovely weekend. So now what About we're going what to do, next. John, is we're going to place it like so. Yes. Okay. On the outside. On the outside. If, if this is ever so tricky, this is oh, where okay, I want to do Okay, here we go. This is where you need to I'll shut so, up and let you concentrate. So what we have to do... Now, because the awkward thing about it as well, ladies and gentlemen, is there's no side seams, so... No, don't, so don't match to the so side seam. the best thing for you to do, I would say, is press down that so you've got a guide yeah. to what the side is on here. So, if we could do that quickly. Did you know that um, British Rail and the London Underground are getting rid of ladies and gentlemen and because they, they, they're just going to be starting saying, hello, everybody. Oh, really? Yeah. Going to make it gender and neutral. Going to make it. So then, what you've got to do, right. you've got to imagine like a five eighth line or half, half an, an inch, inch, half an inch, half an inch line, yeah, all the way around, and that's oh, where you've got I to see. place it on that line. Right. Okay. So if you just go in and match that. So, um, and that ma the, the raw edge matches the line, or the five eighths of an inch seam matches the line. It's the actual sewing edge. line. It's, it's this, but don't forget you debased it this down as yeah. well. Yeah, no, no. What so, I'm saying is, you don't match your raw edge with your tacking line. It's five eighths of an inch above there because you're going to stitch on that line. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what so, I'm talking about? Yeah. Got four Don't minutes, worry. Janice. That's all we've got left, I'm afraid. So then that's why I, I had to show that placement yeah. line. Because then what happens, this pulls up. Yes. So, there we go. Again. And it so is a bit of guesswork. Bit, it's, it, ever yeah. so, it's, ever so, it's a devil, this bit. A devil. It's a devil. So, again, like John said, it's best to... Decided again to make myself some lounge pants instead with a zebra fabric. I'm glad I've ordered it before it's gone. Oh, that'd be <coughs> Karen, that'd be gorgeous because once you've lovely. washed it, it'd be really lovely and soft, nice. wouldn't it? Yeah. Ooh, Diane, just love you two. So entertaining. So glad the pants are turning into a bag. <laughs> <laughs> so you do you could that. use the bag to carry your pants on for the weekend. <laughs> could become your pant bag. In pant bag. So it is a bit awkward, this. Yes. So if you just use your hands, there we go. That's it. And just 
use your hand like that's the way I was doing it. it, it well, if you're confused at home, <clears throat> I don't take away from Jan's while she's just pinning, right? What, what she's doing is she's stitching the pocket downwards there so she's going to turn it up. So the right side will then appear here. The top stitching she's already done will appear here. And then That's this is it. what would have been yep. the bottom of the pants, then goes into the facing <laughs> at the top there to create the pocket on the side. It is just very, very tricky, isn't yeah. it? Take your time over this pinning bit, because this bit is the, an important bit. Because you'd think almost that what they would have done is laid, just laid it okay, flat and then you do enclosed it in that seam there because you've got another seam to put the bottom on, haven't you? The thing is, though, I don't think you can even line the side seams up, like we said. What have you done? I don't think you can line the side seams up because that centre line there yeah. has got to be on the centre line oh, there. Oh, yeah. So that has got to go... To the centre. To the centre. All right. So you can't do it on the side seam. Right. See, I had more time at home to do yeah, this no, of than course I did, yeah. did it. That's it. So do that, guys. Yeah. Um, centre seam to centre seam. Yeah. And where you've got the fold line on there, don't press it out yes. before you do this bit because you have got a good guide there. Is that a dig at me? Don't know as you can see. Morning, Janice and John. You're making me laugh. Janice, you're so lovely and doing a great job. John, you're fab. Love, Ooh. Gerardine. Uh, on the Wirral, Merseyside. Thank you, Gerardine. And you've got a minute with your left now, Janice. I know. So, like John said, what will happen then? It will literally turn up. Yes. That's the wrong way, isn't it? But yes. <laughs> the other way. So, <laughs> pin it the other way. Right, guys. OK, OK, OK. We need to, point, we need to just quickly point that out yeah, before you move on. Let's sure take those pins out. Right. What, that we, what we need to do is you need to pin it... The other way. <laughs> that way. Just make sure you pin yes. it the right way first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to pin it that That's way. It. So we'll just do it right. And That's then, so it. what then, then happens is, up. is you fold the bag up. And that comes up to match these. Come up to here there. to match. I don't know if you can see that from the that. Oh, there you go, from the upstairs camera. So, so then, that that's that. it. So that would be <coughs> Excuse me. like that. All right. With the sides. And now it's turned into like a little that. party top for Janice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for that, Janice. Now, but she's yeah. back in an hour. We're not telling you what with. <laughs> no, we didn't, did we? We didn't say what it was called. Anyway, uh, thanks, Janice. I'll see you in the I'll see I'll you in the time. <laughs> I've just got to round up with all my fabrics here. Just pull my trousers up. Shall I start with the zebra? Oh, we need to check the stock, see this one. Now, this isn't the zebra. This is, um, this is the zebra uh, Kit bundle that I'm showing you first. Oh, okay, okay. So he's showing the fabric first. Sorry, that's right. So this is the, it's the same fabric, but this is just a bigger piece of it here. It's lovely. Right. Right. I'm not going to show it to you then. It might have sold out. What I need to do is check out what it is. Is little Paul can't see on his screen. Uh, if you put it in your basket, until you confirm, he can't see how many metres you bought of it. So I can see that, a confirmed order, I can see that somebody, like Susan's bought half a metre and Elaine has bought one and a half metres. And Doreen's bought some, I think. But then, and Margaret's bought some. But he can't see, those of you who've got it in your basket, they don't have a, a, a measurement with it or an, an amount with it, you see. So if you've all bought a metre and a half, then it'll all have gotten such a thing. Elephants on grey is the fabric, pop, fabric wise, you mean? I've got ages. This is lovely. Ooh. They're called the elephants are in ecru, and the background is a lovely grey, greeny grey colour, like gunmetal grey there. Check out your baskets to make sure you get it at £3.55. Look. There's, there's, if you look carefully, there's like all different elephants there. There's one with his trunk up, there's one with a different ear, one with a different eye. It's lovely, isn't it? Three pounds and 55 pence, half me, time percent cotton, machine washable. Uh, low stock on the elephants on cream. And how much have I got now? Do we know? Oh, we don't know. But this could be gone as well. Right. 
So almost half the stock of that's gone. It's a premiere today. Three pounds and 55 pence for half a meter. Lovely. And then the last one is the grape ladies in Paris. In Paris. Now this fabric's wider and this fabric's are, um, are more um, substantial. Subtle but substantial. Look. Nice, I think this make a lovely skirt. 1950s uh, circular skirt that make. Oh, like her, like her with the hat. See her with the hat, that's the kind of skirt I'd make out of it. Four pounds and 95 pence, full circle. Oh, quickly, four bundles to show you. Starting with the zebra bundle. So what you get in this is you get a meter of the red, half a meter of black, half a meter of ivory, and half a meter of the elephant. You get the thread, you get the pattern, which should be here, but I took it away, and you get the um, sew-on interfacing, 28 pounds and 95 pence. Show that one on a still, there you go. Then, oh, grapes, the next most popular one. So in this one, you get a meter of the um, uh, ivory, you get half a meter of the, I'd say that was a mauve mist, half a meter of a purple, half a meter of the grape fabric, and then you get the thread at the pattern. There it is, 30 pounds and 45 pence. Right, all I need you to do now is if you've got any of them, especially the elephant, especially the zebra one, please check out your baskets. Only, I'm only saying it so that you get it. Don't go anywhere, I'm on my own in the next hour. Oh, you can't leave it like that, it's a mess. I'll see you with John Scott's haberdashery store in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Meet Joe Avery, the latest addition to the sewing quarter family. Joe is a talented quilter whose creations have been exhibited all over the world. She'll join us on Saturday the 15th of July for her debut shows in which she'll demonstrate a cathedral window block and an improv house design. Jo has been sewing and quilting for 25 years so expect plenty of handy tips and techniques to help you improve your skills. So tune in and help give Jo a warm welcome. That's Saturday the 15th of July at 8am and 10am only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the herringbone stitch. This is a stitch that's used for holding two layers of fabric together and its construction makes it ideal for things like stretch fabrics because the stitches will move with the cloth. It's also a really nice decorative stitch. So I'm going to start with my needle and thread. Now I'm actually using embroidery thread so you can see what I'm doing and I've also put a knot in the end. So starting from the wrong side of the fabric we're going to go through to the top. And we're actually going to be working from left to right, but you can also work right to left, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're going to start with a diagonal stitch going up. So that's our first stitch. Now you're going to come back on yourself and to the left of that stitch. But this time we're going to come down. You want to try and keep this as even as possible. So you can see that we've created our first cross. Now again, going from the left to the right, we're going to create our stitch. So you can see we've got a cross there and a cross there. There we have our herringbone stitch. There are only seven days till our Christmas in July when a whole host of guests will be dropping by. Join us for Christmas in July, July the 21st to the 25th.
Welcome to John Scott's Haberdashery Store. Where's all the graphics they promised me? Where's the sign coming down from the ceiling? Nothing. I didn't, want, I didn't want a neon sign. I just wanted a piece of wood saying John's Haberdashery Store to drop in. You know, anyway, it doesn't matter. I've got some lovely things for you today. Um, but, oh, yes, uh, uh, let me do this then. Then it looks more authentic, doesn't it? Transformation. Come <laughs> Right, something you have been... What we've done is we've done lots of bundles for you. Rather than just buying one this, one this, one this, one this, we've done bundles for you. Something that you all have been asking for are sewing machine needles. Now, uh, I don't think we've done... I've never done them before. I don't know if they've been done in a bundle before, but these are brilliant. These are absolutely brilliant. Um, let me just take you through them, right? Where's my glasses? There they are. Because it's a sewing machine bundle for £15.95. So, in that bundle, you do get universal. Right? So, there we go. We get the packet of universal, size 10 to 16, universal needles, right? Made by Prim. Good, 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 good quality. Then, you're thinking, well, what happens if I want to do uh, my jeans? I want to turn my jeans up? Well... We also have the jean. These are all in the bundle. These are all in the bundle. You get a packet of the, the um, uh, standard, the uh, universal. You get a packet of the jeans. And now they're all size 14, 90 slash 14. They're all a size, because you wouldn't need it um, thinner for a pair of jeans, would you, or denim? They're called it jeans. You can do any denim with it, obviously. So you get that at universal. You get the jeans. Then... Thinking, well, I want to sew my T-shirts or my, my jersey or my uh, stretch fabric. Because, remember, jersey... Uh, uh, we all say this, don't we? A jersey needle needs to be slightly... Uh, it's almost ballpoint, isn't it? So this is the jersey needle. Now, these, again, go from a size 10 to a 14. Oh, OK. All, uh, OK. Again, uh, 7... Uh, 10 to 14. OK, now I'm going to put that one down. And then we've also got embroidery. Now, these are different sizes. These are um, 11s and 14s, these. I've never seen a size 11 before, I have to admit. 11s to 14s, those. Say that again. There's, there's embroidery there, you see. OK, and then uh, leather. Now, you need a leather needle. Now, a leather needle normally has, um, I don't want to say facets, but you know what I mean? It has, um, it's normally a triangular bottom to it, isn't it? Again, the size is 12, 14 and 16 in there for leather needles. So in total, you're getting 5, 10, 15, 25, 10, 15, 20, 25 machine needles. Oh, that's better, see it there. 25 machine needles for £15.95. Oh, is it 30? Have I got six? No, I've only got five. No. Oh, oh! There it is. Sorry, I only had five. There's a six one here. No, it was over there. Uh, 30 needles. <coughs> because you've also got quilting needles here. Sorry, they're in a different pile. I'll hold it up for you. Quilting needles, 11 and 14s again. Now, you see, I've never seen size 11 needles before, and they've got it in the embroidery and the uh, quilting, both size 11 and 14. So you get 30 needles for £15.95. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Over here. Joanne, morning, John. Fairly new to dressmaking. How often should you change your needles, and can you explain what the different sizes mean from Joe? Right, well, Joe, perfect. Right, first of all, you should... I think they say after every eight hours of solid sewing, you should change your needle, right? But you should also change your needle, because, you know, if you do English paper piecing, that, that's going through paper, which will blunt... So you need to keep a special... Not a special needle, but once you've used that needle, take it to one side and only use it for that. Um, so I would say after eight full hours, not eight hours, not eight hours during the day when you just do a little bit like that and a little bit like that and go off. You, no, uh, but if, if you've been sewing solidly for eight hours, 
You don't have to. That's just in a perfect world, you change it every eight hours. That's my opinion. If you disagree with me, then that's fine. Now, the different sizes is the thickness of the needle. So let me go to the universal. Where's the universal ones there? Right, so on this, you see, you see how you've got a 10, a 12, two 12s, a 14, the 16. Now, your 12 is for everyday sewing, like your, your uh, cottons that I've been showing you this morning and everything like that. That's what you'd use for everyday sewing. A 10 is a finer needle, so you'd use that on your silks or your chiffons or things like that. And then obviously the, uh, the 16 <clears throat> is when you're either going through uh, heavier layers of fabric or using embroidery, uh, not embroidery, uh, tapestry or furnishing fabric, and you need a thicker fabric. So it's actually the thickness of the needle, that one. And remember when you put a needle in, it's always the flat bit goes to the back. Okay. Oh, got another message. <clears throat> Which is best for sewing oilcloth? Well, personally, now this is my own. Mm, I'd say the leather needle. That's what I would say. Is that other people might disagree, but I'm going to throw it out to you. So Carol has asked. Carolyn Wiltshire has asked. Which is the best needle to use for oilcloth? You let me know what you think. I said oil, but you might just when when um. Mandy Shaw was in last, and she was doing, not last, the one before, and she was doing oilcloth. She just used a sturdy needle. She didn't use a special needle at all. I would say a leather needle, and it gets a crisper. But remember, once you've sewn oilcloth, if you unpick it, you're going to have holes in your, in your oilcloth, aren't you? Um, but if you think different, if you think I'm wrong, please let me know, because it has been known. I'm not like, I'm not Paul. I'm, I am, re I, no, he's rarely wrong. He's rarely wrong. I'm often wrong. Anyway, if there's any questions you need to ask. Uh, anyway, so what's next? Pins, right? There's no needles in here, just pins. This is my pin bundle. Now this is fantastic value here. Right, little Paul had his calculator out the minute we saw this morning, right? You're getting 768 pins here, which works out at 2.7p each. But You'll see, you'll see what he's at. So let's start with, you get all of this in the bundle, so you don't need to worry about asking for anything in particular. You get these ones I always use. These are the dressmaker pins that I always use. So you get uh, the pack of nickel-plated steel dress pins in there. There's 360 of them in there. So you get that in the bundle. You, so that's the dressmaker pins. Then, now, you also get these pearl-headed pins, which I think if you're working on a fabric you frighten, you might get, lose them. Then these are really good. It's a bit like, you know, when a surgeon does a swab and they need to find all their swabs. What's that noise? Have you got it as well? Oh, no. It's like someone's opening a bag of crisps right down my ear. Anyway, don't worry. I thought you were opening crisps or something. Um... Pearl-headed pins. Now, do not, do not, do not iron over these. They will melt. Do not iron. They look lovely. They're fantastic for finding afterwards. But do not iron over them because the tops will melt. Okay? That's not as bad, but it's still there. Right, then, if you do want to iron over them, you get your glass-headed pins. You get your glass-headed pins. Now, these are new, these ones. But the glass-headed pins won't, if, you're gonna, if, you, if, you are, if you are going to iron over them, then use glass-headed pins. Yeah, no, no, it, was, uh, it wasn't my talkback. It was definitely an interference from somewhere. Did you, could you hear it, Michael? Oh, okay. Might have been a taxi cab, local taxi cab. Glass-headed pins, uh, they're lovely. And then in the same kit, you get safety pins. Now, you can never have enough safety pins, can you? These are the normal, straightforward safety pins. They're all size two. There's 150 of them in there. That's a lot of safety pins, but you'll be amazed how many you get through, won't you? And then, if you're a quilter, we also have the quilting safety pins, which, as you can see, are like banana-shaped. And that's so you can pin, you can baste your three layers together using safety pins without disturbing the fabric. And there's uh, it's a jumbo pack there, you see, you get 150 of those, size 2, 38 millimeter. They're the same size. Say what, what? Uh, oh, pressing bundle next. Right, so put those to one side. There's everything together. Now, let me just make, let me make sure I just, yes, I've got, I showed you all of them in that one. Right, now, pressing bundle. This is brilliant, this is my favourite bundle, this one. 
Uh, now, you wouldn't necessarily use all three of these together, but they're all three things that you need in your workroom. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> oh, excuse them. Wow. Uh, Taylor's ham. Taylor's ham. Now, these all cut, this all comes in the bundle, remember? So you get the Taylor's ham. You've got the calico on the background. This isn't, this is a, this isn't, um... A fabric that's going to leak so don't think oh if i'm going to use steam on there it's going to the color is going to seep into my um what i'm ironing uh, i don't know what this one's filled with they're traditionally filled with sawdust so they can just dry out afterwards but they're just brilliant if you've got a curved seam to do if you've got a curved like a princess seam to do i'll just put it down i'm sure you all know oh, i've got another one here <laughs> uh, they're all over the place right this isn't on this isn't on it's still warm, but it's not on. So you can iron across. You see what I mean? So if you've got a curved seam, if you've got a shoulder seam that you want to get around, you can use it in all... This one here, the, top, the head, the head of, a, of, um, of a sleeve. Everything like that. They're just brilliant, especially if you're doing princess seams or slightly curved seams on your dress and things like that. Princess seams are curved seam that goes in like that. And they're on the back as well. Um, brilliant. So you get that. You get... Uh, this and this is brilliant if you're doing quilting or anything not necessarily dressmaking so much but quilting um, and you want the fabric just to be really really lovely. it's the best press starch spray this one uh it comes this one's in the uh what flavor do you get that one in let me put my glasses on i'll just i'm gonna move it is this one linen then this one yeah linen fresh that one's fabulous right that one smells like if you're walking into a laundry room and all beautiful, fresh, freshly cleaned clothes, that's that one. Uh, we also do do it in lavender and non-scent, but in this bundle, you're getting the linen fresh one. So you get this, you get this, and then this is brilliant, right? When I had to first show this, this is all John, you're doing a pressing cloth. And I was like, I use an old tea towel as my pressing cloth. This is a Teflon, a Teflon non-stick pressing sheet, right? And you kind of think, well, it's still a tea cloth, isn't it? Anyway, you open this, right? It's like... Wait, he's giving me a brand new one. It's like... Um, feels like a plastic sheet, you think. And you think, do you know what? Um, that'll melt, that'll melt. But it won't, it's Teflon, right? Now, the reason this is brilliant, if you are using Bonderweb to put some lace on, if you're using Bonderweb to put an applique piece on, if you're using anything that might be sticky... The best way to do it, now little Paul's already done his, because he's done this already, because he's, we're all making a, um, a block for a quilt. I haven't yet to start mine, but we're each making a block for a quilt. It's got to be in next week, I think, isn't it? Uh, and Paul's used Bonderweb on his. So basically, what you think is, oh, you just do that, pop it down. Uh, the iron's not on, the iron's not on, so don't worry. And you think, oh, I'll just press it like this, right? Which you can do, which you can do, but the best way, the thing that's good about it is opaque, so you can see where you're pressing underneath. This is what I would do. If you're doing bonder web or something like that, especially if you're doing a lace work, sandwich it in between the two layers like that, then press it, then get your iron out, press it like this. This is brilliant for the heat that goes through it. This isn't on, don't worry, this isn't on. Um, it's not on, it's not on, it's not on. Um, and then what happens is you peel that back. If some of the bonder web glue has eked out, seeped out from the sides, not only is your iron safe, but your ironing board cover is also safe. And then what you do is you, when you've taken your fabric off, when it cools down, if there is a bit of glue, just peel it off. Just peel it off. They are brilliant. They're an absolute lifesaver and they're just fantastic. And um, but all, the, my only word of warning is once, when you've used it, don't touch it straight away because the heat that it, it almost intensifies the heat. So just let it cool down before you pick it up. That is the most brilliant bundle for £26.45. That's our pressing bundle. Looks only quarter past and I'm nearly finished. Got a marking bundle now. Now, I've got two lots of marking, but well, I've got a marking bundle and then I've also got marking pens coming up as well, pencils coming up as well. But my marking bundle, right, this covers everybody's... Depending on what you use, it's something for everybody in here, isn't it? So we'll start with the traditional. You get all of this in the bundle. You get the tailor's chalk. Three tailor's chalks, the red, the white, and the blue. Because that's what I, that's what I, that and a tracing wheel are the two things that I trained with. 
at 20 pounds and 45 pence. But you don't get that. You also get all of this, right? Now this one, fabric marker. This is Joe Carter's favorite. Is this the water erasable one, this one? Hang on. Wipe off, yeah. This is Joe Carter's favorite one. Joe, when she's making her animals, she uses this all the time. So now, just this is the this is one we're looking at here. This is the one we're looking at here. I've never seen her without it. Every single job she does, she brings she brings her own one of those. Okay, so you, you not only get the tailor's chalk and that. Now we've also got this one, which is the. Uh, oh, hang on, I'm getting confused now. Oh no, this is it. This is it. This is, I wasn't confused. Uh, this is the air eraser one. They've just called it different. They've called it vanishing. It's air erasable, right? So this one you mark with this one, and then. Later on, within 24 hours, or do they say 48 hours? Let me just double check. No need to remove marks. They will disappear within 24 to 72 hours, right? We have been in the studio where designers use this. When Angie did her embroidered card, she drew out the, the pattern in this, the, the style in this. And then by the time she finished the embroidery, it had all disappeared. Uh, but also, you can also wipe it off as well. If necessary, marks can be removed with a damp cloth or rinsing in cold water, and that will also get rid of it. So you've got two marker pens and your tailor's chalk. But now, uh, if you want tailor's chalk put in a pencil, then these are brilliant, aren't they? So what you get here is you get the pink, the white, and the blue uh, marking pencils, but with a little brush on the end. Now, I might have one of these in my basket. Let me just have a look. In my trolley. Is it in a trolley? As Victoria Wood once said. So... These all come like this. You get all three of them. So you can mark beautifully with it. So you've got the white, the blue, and the pink. Brilliant if you're doing cross hatching. Oops. Or you need to do any, you know what I mean? It's just fantastic. And then what you've got at the end is a little brush, you see, where you can just, oh, it might not work on this one because I've done it, there you go just disappears, just disappears with a little plastic brush at the end there. You have to give it some welly to get rid of it, there you go. So that's fantastic, isn't it? So you get three, so this all comes, this all comes in the kit. Right, hang on, let me, I've got one more thing, I'm just tidying my, tidying my thing as I go. Right, then we've got this, right? This is the water pen with three refill tips. This you can use for two reasons, first of all, you can use it if you're doing like pleats on a skirt or if you're going to mark box pleats or you're going to mark things that are just very, very temporary, very, very quick. You fill it with water and then you use it like a pen, but it just makes a watermark so that you can like if you're pleating a skirt, you don't want to have lots and lots and lots of pencil marks. You just mark the first few with water. You see the watermark there. You fold it and then, of course, it's dry within minutes and it disappears. Also, and you have it now, Natasha, so she's use it using the about and move move it so you still rather than me arrange it there oh it's because she puts posts in um 12 pounds and 95 pence i love this book look even the detailing here all the detailing just beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Uh, so look, and it's all in alphabetical order. So as you're, as you're thinking, oh, I just need to grab that book. So you're thinking, oh, it seems. You go to the S, you know what I mean? It's just all darts, everything, but they're all in alphabetical order uh, with photographs, with uh, written instructions and everything. 12 pounds and 95 pence. It's a brilliant go-to book when you're a starter or whether you've, um, done sewing in the past, <coughs> and, excuse me, and it's something you've come back to. Just different pockets. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. Isn't it lovely? So many, so much experience, so much. <coughs> oh, dear me, I am so sorry. Got a little tickly cough this morning. £12.95. pence. And then a glossary of all the different terms and technologies. Twelve ninety-five. Right, storage, storage, storage. No, storage, storage, storage. I'm off. I'm going to my other, my other bit of the haberdashery store. Uh, this is fantastic. We love this. And now I don't want to talk about Christmas, but what a brilliant, 
What a gr brilliant Christmas present this would be. It's £47.95, but wait, 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 wait till you see what you've got, right? Top box. But Little Bull's never seen this before. Um, really, really good uh, amount of storage there to go in the top box. So this is brilliant if you're on the go, because, or if you're not on the go, if you've got, just got it in your workroom, because, open it, open it. Three drawers, three drawers. Now they're fantastic. I'll start at the bottom, because this is the least interesting of the three. Right. Little ball starts at the bottom and he's still there. <clears throat> so you get this big box, this big, you put your scissors in there. You can put all your bigger items in there, couldn't you? Uh, this all comes, I love the fact that it's all, all uh, match and everything. Then the middle drawer comes in sections. So you put your threads or something like that in there. Now these are lots and lots of storage space here and these are fixed, these ones. They're, that's exactly where they're gonna stay, right? Then wait till you see the top one. If you're um, somebody who goes to lessons and you want to take a few bits and bobs with these lessons, or look at this, this is brilliant, right? Let me just take those out. This, now, this would be good for jewellery, right? Be or beads. If you do bead work, because you think, oh, no, John, those spaces are too big, right? What you can do... Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to snap one of these. Well, not, not allowed. Oh, oh, it's... You can create your own mini sections, look. I've done it now, so I might as well do it on all of them. Oh, there we go. So you can create. Hang on, let's get that right. What you'll have to do is just chop, chop off those little um, tabs there. So, no, let, let me make that one a bit bigger. So if you do do beading, and you can... Oh, I haven't brought my glasses, so I can't see the... Oh, no, one job. So basically, you can create your own sections, right? Oh, there they are. <laughs> right, but no, no, in all seriousness, look, look, they've also got these dividers here, so you can even divide this space. Now, obviously, you have to just take those tabs off the end there. You can... Right, OK. Oh, it does work, I promise you. It's just that I haven't taken the tab off, that's all. When I grew up, a tab was one of those, wasn't it? A cigarette. My granddad used to say, oh, pass me my tabs. He used to smoke woodbine all those years ago. No, I don't, I don't suggest you smoke or anything. I'm just saying that's what my granddad used to do. And when after he had his stroke and he wouldn't um, stop smoking, my nan used to prick all the cigarettes with a, with a pin and then go, oh, where's your woodbines? And he'd be like... Shh. Like this kind of, well, I'm sure they've changed the make of these wood bones. Oh, God love him. He was as deaf as a doornail as well. Right, anyway, getting on. So what you can do is you can use these to make dividers within the plastic box here, if you see what I mean. Multi-storage is fantastic. Fantastic, you get loads of those. So if you are, do, it is jewellery making, or if you do do a bead making or something like that, that's fantastic as well. So you get all of that, 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 all of that. Brilliant Christmas gift. Does what? Anyway. It comes off, does it? As you're working, you can put your stuff in, make a little table, apparently. I think those slots are just so that it fits around the drawer, isn't it? Anyway, brilliant. £47.95. I don't know, I was looking over there, do apologise. Oh, while I'm over here, what's in the drawer? Right, just a few of you have been asking about these fabrics from the last hour. So I thought I'd give you a quick... Um... Now, there's no uh, zebra fabric. Sold out the zebra fabric. Zebra fabric's all gone. Right, the other next thing that's about to sell out is this. Oh, no. Oh, all right, I'm not going to show it. If everyone checks out their basket, that's all gone. I do apologise. I do apologise. Uh, the other elephants had more stock of this. You're all right with this one. It's lovely, isn't it? Do you know what, Hannah? She gets some of this to make her budgie cage. She's got some, yeah, for this, when you put the budgie goes to bed at night time, it has to be covered up, doesn't it? I love this fabric. 
£3.55 for half a metre, remember. 100% cotton, machine washable. Gorgeous, isn't it? 42 inches wide. And then, uh, last but not least with the fabric wise, I've got this uh, grape, glamour in grape. Now, this is wider. This is a wider fabric, and this is a more sturdy fabric, this one. Look, it's furnishing fabric. Nice, isn't it? See how lovely that would look? Draped. I'm going to sneeze. £4.95. Beds. Oh, I do apologise. didn't hear it, but I just sneezed. <laughs> I would never do that. They're telling me upstairs to wipe my nose on the fabric. That's disgusting, isn't it? It's not lovely, though, the way it drapes. Really, really nice. At £4.95, half metre, but remember, it is wider. 150 centimetres wide. Right, I've still got pencils to show you. I've still got pencils to show you, and we're only halfway through the show. I hope they're bringing more stuff in for me to show you. Right, pencils. Right, I've, uh, now, I've only got three colours. Right, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. I've got four colours. Why is that one in my basket, then? I've got four colours. Right, OK, I'm a bit confused. Have I not got this three in one, then, in the show? No. So, well, it's in my basket, but it's not on my list. No. I haven't got that one. Sorry, it was in my basket, so I haven't got it. Right, now this mechanical pencil comes in four different colours. Actually comes in five different colourways, but the black sold out, I think, at the moment. Uh, pink? Oh, sorry, what have you put in? What did you put in? White. I thought you said pink. White? £12.45. I'll go through it in a minute, right? So, um... Okay, as well as that refill, right, I haven't got a white one. Right, it's a bundle, £12.45. You get the pen with a refill, but you also get another refill as well for £12.45. So you get 12 refills in total, six in that one, six in that one. I'll go through all of them and I'll show you it works. That's the white one. What colour do you want next? Pink next. Pink is this one. I just put all the, I'll put all the graphics in. I'll get Paul to put all the graphics in first, and then we'll go through what it all does. Ooh, my hands look old today, don't they? Twelve pounds and forty-five pence. Yellow. The way you know what colour it is, you see this, oh, can you see it there? There's a circle at the end of the top there, and that's how you know what colour it's going to be. Because lots of people have more than one of these, because obviously if you're working on black fabric, you can use any of the paler ones, but if you're working on white fabric, you want one of the others, don't you? £12.45. And, and last but not least, we've got green. As I say, it does come in black as well, but I think the black's out of stock. You can check on the website. Um, Bundell. £12.45. Isn't that a musical by Tim Rice? Bundell. Oh, that's Blondell, isn't it? Right. So this is what you do. This is how it works. Let me get the yellow one out. Right. So what happens is it's like an old-fashioned uh, mechanical pencil. You see the button at the end here. You just press it. And you see at this end here, the lead comes out. Right? And then it's brilliant if you want to mark... Well, first of all, like, um, Jennifer Mills likes it because she's always drawing um, her pattern pieces, isn't she? So I'm just doing a bodice for you, or a basic block for you, like this. Right, so this is uh, that's a very weird-shaped basic block. This is Little Paul, right? So, and then if you want to put in a bust dart... You can just mark in the dart like that. It's well, the reason Jennifer loves it is it's so precise, it's so fine, and really, really, really effective, isn't it? Now you know the button you pressed at the beginning. This here, that's a rubber. So if you think, oh, I've put that dart in the wrong place, all you do, all 
You rub it out. See? I haven't done that very well, but there you go. They wash out as well, but I mean, if you just want to move it when you're drawing the original pattern. Oops. See, dart gone. New dart coming in. I should do what? Oh, apparently I should draw, not in pattern cutting, but in art, you draw the new line before you erase the old one. Anyway, it's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Waste start going in. Waste start for the basic block going in there. Aren't they brilliant? 12 pounds and 45 pence. And then all you do is you think, oh, I don't want that to snap off. You press the end in like that and just push the, th the lead back in. Uh, keeps it safe so it doesn't snap in your drawer. Now, there's the, the circle I was talking about earlier. That's the yellow one because it's obviously got the yellow circle there. Now, it's, uh, the reason uh, people use this rather than Taylor's chalk is Taylor's chalk, it, you'll never get Taylor's chalk that fine. And secondly, as you use Taylor's chalk, you can obviously create um, French uh, dust. Oh, no, what's it called? French chalk dust, like they do on the end of the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Same thing. Carol, which is best? Oh, I've read that one. Katie. Oh, no, hang on. This isn't Katie. Hi, I'm Maddie. My nan loves your show, and so, so does my great aunt. My nan's name is Jackie. Please say hello to her. Right, so I've got Katie, Maddie, and Jackie. Hope you're all having a lovely day. Uh, if you want to get a message through, uh, now, did we ask the question earlier about... Um, uh, what needle was it? Oh, um... Yeah, now there was a... And there were, oh, yeah, it was the old cloth from Carol, wasn't it? If you've got any... I said use the leather needle, but if you want to use any others, then let me know what you think any others should be. Or if you just want to shout out. I've got another little message now. Just coming through. Barbara Bob. I use an ordinary needle size 80 or 90. Hello, John. Hey, what, for oil cloth do you... Oh, there you go. See, Barbara uses a normal needle. I know... Um, Mandy Shaw did when she was in last. Lisa, could you please show what is in the very top of the storage box? Thank you from Lisa. Lisa, might you ask? My pleasure. We haven't put away the fabrics yet. I've hidden the box, look. I've hidden the box. There we go. I could have done a magic trick, shouldn't I? Lisa, here's the top of the box. Right, it's top of the box. It's just a fully... Fl look, it's just an open... In fact, do you want me to tell you how big it is? 15 and a half inches by 10 inches, that is. Could fit Janice in there, couldn't we? It's got like a little... Um... Is it a grip? Down with the kids and I. In it. Right. Uh, £47.95. pounds and 95 pence. Recap time. Thought it would be so machine needle bundle, very, very popular. I'm sure there was something else. Was there not something else I had to show them? I could have thought there was something else. Never mind. Was there only one book in this hour? Is that the other hour? Uh, right, now, uh, Mike doesn't like me um, showing these like this because they're... Reflecting on the lights. I'll show you them one time. Right, okay. Oh, loads of people have bought these. Hang on. Uh, Gillian, Ruth, Teresa, Jane, Patricia, Isabel, Susan, Janice, Ruth, ja oh, two Janices. Uh, Paula, it's neither of them are Janice now. Karen, 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 and a collector. Oh, a collector. She's bought two lots. Sally, Jeanette, Mary, and Anne. Um, right, let me just go through these with you. Um, so we started off with Universal. Standard needles. Which are these? And use those for everything, ranging from silk through to heavier weight fabrics. Just use those. You change a needle. Most people use the 80s or the 90s all the time. And then the 70s are for slightly finer fabric. And obviously the 116 are for heavier weight fabric. So you get that. You also get... Uh, 
jeans. But if you do, how many people need to turn up jeans? How many people need to um, alter jeans and things like that? Now, these are all the same size. These are all size 14, size 90. But you get five. You don't have to worry because you get the whole kit. You get all of these for £15.95. Then moving on, we also have jersey. Now, we don't sell jersey as yet. So we haven't had any need for these really, have we? But eventually when we get jersey as well and knits and everything, these would be brilliant. Again, 70s, 80s and 90s in there. Or if you like the old, the other style, 10s, 12s and 14s. Uh, you've also got leather needles in here, which are fantastic for doing anything like leather or a thicker heavyweight fabric. Now you don't need it for pleather. You wouldn't need these for pleather, the lovely pleather. Well, we didn't call it pleather, we called it PU, didn't we? polyurethane coated the other day. Um, you wouldn't need that for this, no. No, it, uh, Amanda, Amanda had made bags out of it. Then we've got embroidery needles. Uh, and, uh, now these are size 11 to 14. I've never seen 11 before, but these are for machine embroidery. And then last but not least, you get 13, the 13 machine needles here, quilting. Quilting needles again, 11s and 14s here for your quilting. Hello, one job, John. I bought the ham for the princess seams on my 1950s tea dress. Wouldn't be without it. Terry in Uckfield. Now, is Uckfield the one near... Um, now, I might have this wrong. Is it the one near the uh, RAF... Where are all the street lights a little as you come into London on the A40? Is that Uckfield? I can't think of it. That's useless to everybody. So I can imagine it. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why I know it. It's remember, uh, I, I wasn't working here at the time. I was going to the, my dentist is still in London. And I'm going to the dentist, and this great big pink lorry drove to the back of me. And smashed. I heard this really loud noise. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that was. I looked in my mirror, and my back seat was filled with a lorry. <laughs> it was awful. It was horrible. Is that Uckfield? Because if it, it, no, I know the drive was, because I got out, and like in the middle of a rush hour traffic in London, went, oh, you're John Scott, aren't you? And I was like, yes. Uh, I don't know if it was, if that was Uckfield, though. Anyway, it's near, you know, it's near where um, Tomo's parents live. That doesn't give you any help. <laughs> right, I'll think of it in a minute. RAF, where's the RAF with the street lights are that, that low? We have mini little street lights. Yeah. Uh, Ham? No, it's not ham. That's on West London. I was in North London. Talking of ham. Well, no, actually, this is what... Um... Oh, it's gone now. Bob. No, one job, John. Who was that that just messaged in? Terry. Sorry, God, my brain this morning. Uh, anyway, in this kit, you get your tailor's ham for your princess seams or for your shoulder seams or for any curved seams or anything. Like Janice could have done with this this morning because, you know, when she was doing that seam that was between the facing, and, and she, don't worry if the rest of it all gets creased. If you did it across this, the rest of it wouldn't get creased. It's what? Oh, it's nowhere near. Nowhere near where I thought it was then. Oh, it must be nice there then. I like Brighton, it's lovely, isn't it? Walking along the beach. I tell you what, there was a very trendy place that all my friends are moving to now. They're all leaving London, they're all moving to Hastings. Anyway, so you get this. Uh, now, I wouldn't use these together, but this is the, just fabulous. The smell of this is gorgeous. The linen best press. That's lovely. And then also, you get the non-stick pressing sheet. Oof. You'd think, you'd think you'd put your iron on this and it would just melt, wouldn't you? This is Teflon. It's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. It's, um, if you're doing bond web, if you're doing um, ironing, like anything that's got glue or anything like that on it, don't just press it onto your... Because first of all, look, it's opaque. So you can see, you can see the fabric beneath it. If I just put that there, I'll put that, so you can see the fabric beneath it, can't you? Right? Um, also, uh, what I would do is sandwich the fabric. So if you're bonder webbing this together and this together, sandwich it between this. Right? 
Don't you steam, don't you steam on it, don't you steam on it, right? And then the heat transfers through. If any of the glue has seeped out, it's gone onto the pressing cloth rather than your iron or your ironing board cover. And all you need to do is when it cools down, please wait for it to cool down because down, it gets very hot. Peel it off, peel the glue off and it's fantastic. Say, like I say, saves your iron and your ironing board covers. Nothing worse is that than an ironing board cover with all sticky bits on it and things like that. The one outside was like it for a few days, I know. So all of that for 26 pounds and 45 pence. Do what, what? The book's proving very popular today. I, thought, I know I'm not losing weight, but my trousers keep falling down today. I need some braces today. No, the tape measure's not elasticated. I couldn't do that. We've got an elastic tape measure. Yeah, that's retractable. That's not elastic. <laughs> Can you imagine having an elastic tape measure? Because you'd be going, how long's this? Oh, it's like... Uh, I've read that, I've already got that one from Terry there. Apparently I've got a message from Jill now. Jill, John, one, you're a mine of information. Two, you make things sound so doable to the most, no, most novice sewer. Ah. Three, great therapy for a weary soul. I would say thanks, it all runs out there. So I'm thinking you must say thanks, Jill. Jill, you're, you're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. A mine of information. Yeah, I only remember the useless information normally. Uh, it's like my mum, when I was doing my O levels and my A levels, and my mum said, if you learnt, if you learnt your subjects at school, like you learn the lyrics of songs, because I can still do it now. I was listening, I, you know, on a, um, it's a Saturday on Radio 2, they do that, you know, like top 10 in this year and that year. I sang along to one, right? It was 40 odd years ago. I know I wasn't even born, but, oh, and that thing on Facebook, which says, takes your picture and says how old it thinks you are and where you're from. 45, it said I was. Uh, 39, I thought it was 39, not 40. Uh, this photo was my birthday photo from here. This year's birthday. Anyway. A friend of mine did it. She's not happy because it said she was about 60-something and she's in her 40s. She wasn't happy. But it's all a load of old rubbish, isn't it? Oh, now, Jill, this would be a good book for you. if you, Because uh, uh, it says it, you make things sound so doable to the most novice of sorts. Right, little Paul, ask a question and I'll look it up in the book. Ask a question and I'll look it up in the book. Seams. He wants to know about Seams. So when AS is here, oh, collars, when collars, sorry. Zip, um, are you going to look up zips now? Has it got zips in here? I thought you said you wanted to know about seams, but there you go. Attaching a centered zip, a lapped zip, an open-ended zip, and a fly front for your trousers. Oh, there's more. There's so much details all about, oh, it's the last one in the book, look. All about zips. Well, I suppose it would be being said, wouldn't it? It's just fantastic. It's a lovely book. You see, even if, you're, if you do know how to sew and things like that, and you suddenly think, oh, I'd like to do a different sleeve band on this blaz. It just shows you how to do all the different ones. Elastic casings. With a frill. I just think it's lovely. And it's also got little hints there. And it's got pictures of the finished item as well there. At £12.95. It's fantastic, isn't it? Really, really lovely book. Anyway, A to Z of saying £12.95. Oh, and that's exactly where I was thinking. RAF Northolt, where the lights are short. As you drive into London from up, up here, because we're in Birmingham here, you go down the A40, and just before you get into London, there's Northolt, before you get to Acton and places like that, right? And suddenly the street lights are only as tall as my... And they'd be still tall to Little Paul, but to normal people, they're just like that. And it feels really weird that they're very, very low. But it's right, because as you drive along, the airfield's there. The airfield's there. My dad used to be stationed there years and years ago. OK. I'll, get, I'll let Amy bring it over. Uh, Oh, OK, I'll get it then. Uh, 
Then he made me do that so Amy can start prepping the next show over there. I love this box. I think it's pretty. Now, when I did this the first time, nearly all of them sold out. They had it in again. They got it in again. £47.95. I still think, I know we shouldn't do all back Christmas, but this would be a brilliant Christmas present, wouldn't it? Oh, now little Paul's getting a bit, um, he said if he bought, if he, if he, oh, I can't say because she'd be watching. Barbara, if Barbara, if, if Paul was going to buy this for his mum, Barbara, for Christmas, she's a, a very keen sewist. Um, he would buy this for her and wrap it up and she'd rip all the paper off and go, oh, Paul, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then he'd put more presents in here and he'd put more presents in there. £47.95. Pounds pounds. Oh, you'll meet her soon, apparently. She's coming on the show. She's coming on as an expert. Oh, Barbara, how exciting. Oh, she's not watching. She's away. She's on holiday. But she might be watching on the internet. £47.95. Pounds pence. Right, well, so we've only got a couple of minutes left. Oof. It's, it's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. It's not heavy at all. That's just me going, oof, like that. No, I haven't got pins and needles. I've got needles. Oh, no, I've got pins. Right. Show the, show the um, still, and I can go through it that way. There you go, we'll pass it there, too. The pins bundle. You get how many pins? And how much each are they? 768 pins. 2.7 at pence a pin. Uh, anyway, £20.95. pence. What you get is you get safety pins, size 2, 38 millimetres. £20.95 pence for all of these. You get the cur they're normal safety pins, and then you get the curved safety pins, like a banana. Shape. Then you've got pearl-headed pins. Now, these are lovely to use as in because they're sharp and you can see the ends of them, but whatever you do, don't iron over them. Okay, we've had an email. Is it, can I read it out? Oh, okay. Oh, no, the sewing nut sent in a picture of what happens when you iron over a pearl-headed pin, but there was no picture attached. Are you sure? It, was it not um, uh, Joe Carter's mum? Because Joe Carter's mum, Helen, uh, did exactly that over the weekend. She put it on Instagram. She ironed over a pearl headed pin. It was all melted over her fabric. So do not, do not, do not iron over these. But you can iron over these. These are glass headed pins. Well, the pearl ones, you just, they, they work as exactly the same, but just don't iron with those, but you could iron with these. A lot of people don't iron with pins anyway, because if you iron over a pin, it does accentuate the pin mark, because it, you know, the indentation into the fabric. And then last but not least, the ones I always use, the dressmaker's pins, you get all of these in the bundle for £20.95. At £20.95. for that bundle. What's next? The marker bundle, of course. Now, in this one, you get an awful lot in this one for your money. You get your tailor's chalk, three of them, assorted colours, red, white, and blue. Because if you're a traditionalist like me, that's what we train to use, that's what we always use. If you're a tailor, you use that an awful lot. Especially if you're in your toile at your first fitting, you use the red or the blue one a lot. Hmm? Right? So, we also have what Joe Carter will never go anywhere without, and this is the water erasable marker pen. It's exactly what it says. You can mark up. What she uses it for is when she does one of her animals. I haven't got one over this side of the set. She draws on the face where she's going to embroider and embroiders over it. Then if there's any bit left over, you can just wipe it away. Get a cotton bud. Are they all called... Oh. You know what I mean, anyway. One of those plastic sticks with balls of cotton on the end. And uh, you can wipe it away with that. If you don't want to do that, you can use the air erasable one. But it says it'll have gone within 24 to 48, uh, no, sorry, 24 to 48 
24 to 72 hours, right? But sometimes it goes even quicker than that. Or you can always wipe it away as well. You can wash that away as well. So you always know that the terracotta one is the water erased one. The purple one is the vanishing fabric marker. Or you get these pencils, pack of three. You get all of this, you get all of this in the kit for 20 pounds and 45 pence. A pink, a blue and a white pencil with the little um, brush at the end. And then last but not least, we've got this, right? Now, Natasha, I can't remember what day it was. I was watching Natasha Joe Judge use this. You can use it for two different things, really. One, if you want a temporary marker, use your ruler, mark where your pleats are going or something like that, and then you can fold your fabric, pin your fabric to where you need to go. Then you haven't marked the fabric at all. Or if you've got um, chalk lines or pencil lines and you want to get rid of them, you fill it with water. This bit here is like an old-fashioned cartridge pen. You fill that bit with water there. You put the nib in. And then you can use the nib just to get, a, get remove the marks you've got on the fabric, especially if you use Taylor's chalk or the erasable marker. The whole kit for £20.45. Good little bundle, isn't it? Good little bundle. There it is in the bundle. Oh, we've got a picture of the... Well, who is it? Sewing nut. Oh, we've got the picture of it. We've got just setting it up now. If you've got any pictures, any time you want to send in a picture, please, please, please do. The other day we did uh, send in your, send in your um, favourite first quilt and we had so many. Hannah was overwhelmed with how many we got. Um, oh, no, look. That's what happens. I think we sell iron cleaner as well, sewing nut, if you want to get some iron cleaner. Oh, it's funny we don't sell irons, isn't it? Oh, no, we've got mini iron. I've got mini iron in the next hour. Next hour, I've got the mini iron. Um, right, well, I'm going home now. No. I'm not going home. I've got another two hours, haven't I? I've got Janice coming up in the next hour. And then I've also got me doing fabric finds, fabric bundles in the last hour. Uh, now, you know what? Have you been to our website? If you've ever been to our website, it's fantastic. www.sewingquarter.com. There it is. That's, now, you've pressed on. Paul's already pressed on. Watch live, there you go. Watch today's show, because you get a bigger screen that way. And then you see, now, what the auction we're in at the moment, you see there, I've just shown you the marker pens. They're all in the um, left-hand side there, or right-hand side. Was that the last thing I showed? Yeah, yeah, the marker pens there. Now, if you scroll down the, the page, there's a, now you can message there. That's the web chat. Now, keep that to two sentences, if you can, at the moment, only because, oh, you put the same thing as you put this morning. Is it repeat? Ooh, um, you can send a message there, it comes straight through to Little Paul, then he sends it straight through to the tablet on my desk. Now, if you scroll down the page, if you're watching, if you've missed, you think, oh, I've missed John, I've missed what, what he's been selling today. Everything that we still have in stock is there. Everything that's still in stock is there. There's no zebra fabric, see, because the zebra fabric sold out. In fact, where, so has the um, uh, elephants in, uh, on cream. That's gone as well. So if you're watching later on, if you're watching the repeat later on, all you need to do is scroll down there, click on it, pop it in your basket, check out. That's all I'd say. Brilliant, isn't it? Also, if you go to our website, not only uh, is the shop, there's a section that says learn, right? And you can click on that and you can look at projects that we've done. It's called projects and guides, isn't it? Or something like that. And there it is, projects and guides. Press click on learn, projects and guides. And then there's all different patterns and... Uh, isn't it fantastic? Just click on any of those. Some have got patterns in, some... There's a bag that was made for me. And the, no, look at that Bargello quilt there and the log cabin quilt there. It's fantastic, isn't it? Right, don't go anywhere. Janice is back in uh, three minutes now. She's roaring to get on. It's, that's a pun, I think. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Oh, join um, us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. This month, Love Patchwork and Quilting Magazine are celebrating their 50th issue and we're marking the occasion with a quilting extravaganza. Join us on Wednesday the 19th of July for a morning of shows dedicated to all things quilting. The Love Patchwork and Quilting team will be taking over the studio to showcase some exciting projects, must-have tools, fabulous fabrics and top tips. 
with special guests such as Lucy Brennan and an incredible half price love patchwork and quilting subscription offer, this quilting special is a real must watch. So whether you're looking to expand your mind or just your fabric stash, tune in on Wednesday the 19th of July from 8 a.m. to 12 noon, only on Sewing Quarter Freeview Channel 78. There are many different ways you can buy from us here at the Sewing Quarter. You can order from us by calling our free phone number at 0800 112 4433 and talk to the team at our UK based call centre. Alternatively, there are other ways you can buy from us. You can go online and shop through our website at www.sewingquarter.com. You can even watch the show there and shop as you go. You can check out as many times as you like throughout the day and only pay a small fee of £2.95 postage and packaging for the whole day. We also offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all products excluding custom-cut fabric. Our friendly UK-based team will help guide you through every step. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. There are only seven days till our Christmas in July when a whole host of guests will be dropping by. Join us for Christmas in July, July the 21st to the 25th. What happened to the special effect? I don't know. I was waiting for a special effect. <laughs> Did it not happen? That was it. That was our big budget, spectacular Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is this Tyrannosaurus Rex, isn't it, this one? Oh, it's called a green dinosaur. It's just called a green dinosaur. Rawr. 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 <laughs> Isn't he cute? Anyway, I'll stop playing. I'll stop playing. There are two colourways you can make this in. Uh, this is called the Green Di Hang on, I can't read it. Green Dinosaur Kit, including fabric, uh, two meters, interfacing stuffing, buttons, skein, and thread. So. Uh, it's, which, one, which one's the green one then? The one with orange? Oh, there it is. No, they're both green, aren't they? Yeah, but they've still got green. Right, though, this one, uh, you'll, you'll see in a minute, right? You get half a metre of each. You get half a metre of the lime, half a metre of the ivory, half a metre of the orange, half a metre of the spot on. You get the embroidery thread. Now, he's only got two eyes, but you do get eight buttons. And you get the thread and you get the pattern, and you get the filling, and you get the interfacing, all for £32.45. Right, and then the other one, now you can see why I was confused, right? Look, what colour do they call this one, then? Okay, that's purple, that one. Okay, it's exactly the same, except instead of the orange... Oh, no, actually, no, tell a fib, there's more green in this one. <laughs> Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? doesn't matter. You see the colours there. You get the green spot, the ivory, the green, so it is the same, and then you get the purple instead of the orange. Oh, no! Right, both kits are very, very, very limited. 
Really, really, really limited for us here. Really limited. If you want it, £32.45. So now they're calling this one the purple one, and they're calling this one the green one. Just so you know, right? Just so you know. But you do get everything in it. You get the pattern, you get the interfacing, you get the stuffing and everything. Ooh, that was an unusual shot, um, Michael. <laughs> He's always attacking me, this man, aren't you? You love it. <laughs> right, Janice, this is so cute. Isn't it Why lovely? has this been set up without the iron mat? You know, I love dinosaurs. That's my weakness, dinosaurs. I'm not surprised. It's cute, isn't it? And when I says to Paul, as he's seen the film Godzilla, yeah. I couldn't believe he hadn't. In Aww. the 80s, I think it was. And it was got, got the French man in. You know, the French man who was in Leon. Gerard Depardieu. That's him. And, oh... It's no, lovely. It's not but Jeff any Archer films, on monster, anything to do with monsters, I love it. Oh, do you? So, yeah. What's this so, on your back there? I've still got me. No, no, up, but it wasn't doing it? anything. It was just sitting there. <laughs> right. Is so, it easy to make? Yes. Tricky on the stomach. Right. Um, and th that's what I'm going to show today how to do certain parts of this. So we're going to do the stomach, the leg, yeah. the arm. Yeah. And that's to do with the leg. So that's what we're going to do. So okay. they're the tricky, trickiest bits because the actual spines down the back <sighs> is just interfaced on the inside, edge stitched and cut to that shape, which the shape's in the pattern and everything. Yeah. So it's... No, no, I'm just showing the mirror, Janice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right. it's, it is easy to make um, as long as you know what you're doing down the stomach bit because you, you have to try and get the neck central and I, I struggled with that okay so it was a few times i had to do that. all right let's have a so look the then. first thing we do this is the body right and it's got the placements on as well once you've done all your tailors tacks and that's where the spines go yes so what we're going to do first of all is join the bottom and we have to leave an eight centimeter gap right so where are we, is that it, this are we to to join this bit so here we're doing then, this from the, the tummy yes, down to the end of the tail that's it to the okay. end of the tail so that's what we're going to do first yeah so if I just do, but this is going to be a guesstimate um, on the actual eight centimetres because we're not actually doing this today. You know, I'm not going to be stuffing this if you know what I mean. All right. So, but no, it's it's not. Well, I was I was just pleased I was making it because I love dinosaurs, <laughs> and all children do love dinosaurs. Now, why did you choose? Because um, you've chosen dinosaur C on the pattern. You could have done A and B, couldn't you, as well? Or yes. D. There's a quilt as well. Do. I'll just show you on the pattern here. Yeah, you've got a real good choice, John. This all comes. This all comes in the kit, remember? So, we've obviously made this one, C. You could have made A. What monster's that, then? And what's that one there, then? And then the quilt here with the volcano, no volcano. What's that there? The air's rock. Where's the, where's the, I can't see it, is that a cave? Oh, that's him, he's poking his head out the cave, I see. And his feet are on back to front. I thought that was lovely. And that one's there like the Loch Ness Monster swimming. Lovely. It's nice, isn't it? It's a clear anyway, 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 anyway uh, you get two metres of fabric in total, half a metre of each of the fabrics. Uh, also say hi to Olivia and Alfie, because I forgot, silly me, they loved your show and got inspired. That's Katie as well. Oh, another oh, that's one. That's cool. Uh, oh, uh, it's my aunt's birthday today. She loves your show. Please could you say hi and wish happy returns. Her name is Linda Smith. Thank you, big hug. But I don't know who it's from. Oh. Just from a customer. Just say so hello. So, Linda Smith, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Right. Go so on then, Janice. All we're going to do now is e stitch where we're going to do the stomach. Right. So that's what we're going to do is e-stitch okay, the other curve. Okay, just hold that there until the upstairs camera that's comes to you. That's the actual other curve. There you go. And you e-stitch between the markings. E-stitch, what does that e -stitch. mean? E-stitch. It's just an edge stitch. Um, oh. And you do it on a higher um, stitch. Like a on gathering a, a wider stitch. stitch, so it's to gather. It's just to, to help easing the stomach oh, in. Okay. But we'll sh I'll show you that as we actually go okay. along and do it. But you have to do this first before you can add the stomach, if you know what and I mean. And where are the marks from? Is the it marks. all the way round? Is the, do you say the notches are all the way round? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's all and the way round. And you do two. Do you go one from the end to the seam, then jump, and or then do you going, carry on? I'll right just carry on all okay. the way round. So we'll do that first. And I don't... Um, knot it off until the second one, really. 
because you don't want it coming out. Okay, and what size so stitch have we got that on then? Four on here. Okay. So it's quite a big stitch. It's quite a wide stitch. It has to do for gathering, doesn't it? So that's it. I always press oh, the wrong no. button there. Okay, so you made this. Have we done this before? Or did you just have the pattern, do you think? Look! Kate's made that for her grandson. Oh, look. Isn't that lovely? Oh, friend's grandson, sorry, friend's grandson. Isn't she that loves lovely? the banter. Thank you. Oh. So what we're going to do, we're going to attach. Janice is in make mode today, isn't I she? Am. She's gone right into sharp John. <laughs> let me just do my sewing. So what I do, I actually <laughs> attach the centre <laughs> notch, which I've marked in the black. Yeah. To the actual, this is the big notch on the actual pattern piece right. number eight. So start on again, always in the middle, and work your way out. So the first thing we do is pin it, but now this is going on a curve. Right. So what I do, I'll do this one side first, and then I'll tack it and take the pins out. Oh, okay. So, so you, you put an e stitch in, but you're not gathering it. I'll gather it as I'll get to the. Other end and pull it through. Did I leave enough rope? I don't think I didn't leave enough. I did. So it's there, isn't it? Again. Just... Tell when she's concentrating. <laughs> See, I must admit, with the ease stitch, I never needed to use it yesterday when I was making no. it. Sometimes, so sometimes you don't need an easy stitch because it. if the pattern's been cut, it yeah, should just work it should its way just around, work, shouldn't and it? It did yesterday. So, but I thought, well, it's better to have it there just in case. Yeah. So, so if you notice, I'm feeding it round just edge to edge. So I just. And that needs a little bit of ease there in this one. I'm going to set them to the same with pattern. What are you muttering about, Janice? It's okay, I just want to pull it up a bit, the e stitch. So, I'm always muttering, aren't I? Normally, guys, you, you leave a, a pulley at the end to pull it. Yeah. Oh, come on. What are you doing, Janice? I don't know, because I've got no nails, have I? I've bitten for years, my nails. Do what? <laughs> I bite my nails. Well, you shouldn't. You find that people who do books do. So, right, so right, that's there. that. Okay. So we're there, eventually. Okay, so that's the one side, if you look, and that's the pins in. So then all I'm going to do now... Did we see that, sorry? Do a tacking. So now you're going to tack? Yeah. Now, notice you pinned quite a way down. You haven't pinned right close to the edge. You pinned quite a way down, haven't you? Is that yeah. so you can tack easily around yeah. The, yeah. In the... in the middle. That's it. So did you give yours a name, then? No. But then again, I was thinking... When I was doing that dinosaur yesterday, I was thinking of what was going on at the National Museum with Dipper. Is oh, it Dipper? Oh, yeah, taking the one out and bringing the whale yeah. in. Yeah, and I thought, what a day to be doing that. And it was on the news. <laughs> yeah, that's a skeleton. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> well, it is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, I'm glad. I must admit, John, no, I'm glad they're not here. <laughs> in, me, in reality. I'm um, you know, it's true. So what, you didn't give him a name then? Dino. Let's do with what we should call him. Whether you've got, because obviously one you're making is a purple one, and this one's yeah. a green one. Little Paul thinks he should be called Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Where's he looked up that name up from? Dennis the Dinosaur. Dennis the Dinosaur. Dino. How do you know if it's a boy or a girl? <laughs> See, it's nice because it could be for any sex as well, but it's a yeah. dinosaur, can't it? So what I did then, yeah. I'll take the pins out, leave my cotton in there with the needle, so I don't lose my needle. Yeah. Take the pins out. <laughs> Whoops. Oops, you missed. Try to take the pins out. <laughs> um, do, you reckon, do you reckon dinosaurs were like, you know, because when you're driving in the morning and you see, like, pheasants, and, the, and the, like, the lady pheasants are just, like, 
brown and quite dull. And the, the boy pheasants have got all that plumage. Do you think it was the same with dinosaurs? That the men had all the decoration, like those things. We're going to have to watch Jurassic Park again, aren't we? You're going to have to watch <laughs> Jurassic Park? Yeah. No, watch it. <laughs> to see. Uh, well, well, apparently, little Paul said they wore bow ties if they were boys. <laughs> you could put a bow tie on him, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could, yeah. There's enough there fabric go. left over, isn't there? there is. Oh, now that's the point, Janice. How many could you make out of the fabric that you You can sell? make two. Make I'd say two. about two. So if there's two forty-five, you can make two. You can make one of these and one of the others, yeah. maybe. Yeah, and if you've got grandchildren, you see. See, when you've got grandchildren, you, you don't want to upset the other one <laughs> if yes. you're making for one. Oh, so dear, it's that, ideal. I think there's a story going on there. <laughs> I know what it's like to be left out, Janice. Yes. It's terrible. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right, and then that's to that. So there we go. So you just try and get. I'm putting it Amy. In. She's brought the cameraman a drink in and she's forgotten mine. <laughs> and now she's waving at her mum. <laughs> so again, just pin it round and tack it in. And then we machine it. Uh, what Janice did here, she's showing me how to sew the tummy panel into this um, dinosaur. It comes in a kit. There's the tummy. And that's the tummy. So, again, then you just tack it. And you do really need to tack it to make sure it's sitting right the other side because there's nothing more annoying than it not meeting if you go ahead and stitch yeah. it straight away. So I'd always just double check. And it, like I say, this will take a few attempts. Um, to machine it or to... To get it right yeah. in the middle. It, it, it's just one of them things. It's the trickiest part of making the dinosaur, to be honest. Because you want to try and get it as right as you can. Because I did it twice and I was still slightly off centre. And That's not good enough. And it's not good As we have John and Janice, the <laughs> dinosaur... Oh, as we have John and Janice, the dinosaur should be Jano or Jasaurus. <laughs> what a great name, Jano or Janaurus. <laughs> I like that. Um, do you know any dinosaur <laughs> jokes? No. No, I don't either. <laughs> to be honest, I was never into jokes because I never, never get, into jokes. I never get them. Oh. Do you remember the comedians when we were kids growing no. up? I used to like the comedians. Okay, this is Little Paul now. It better be Little Paul. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> I'm not saying it. No. <laughs> He's not being rude to say. Big ish. Big issue. <laughs> That's not even funny, Paul. Right, so I was just turn Janice. it over. Right, you look, that looks perfect to me, so Janice. Let's go on to sewing. Look, We're not a joke channel, Paul. We're sewing so channel. So if you look, now that is as good as I'm going to get it, I think. Right, OK. So because what happens, once this is sewn, what happens is you join the neck onto it when it's all done. So you right. get the... And, of course, it's got to be more or less smack on. And I, I think the one I've done on there, I think, is better than the one I've done. It's funny how they've done, a, it's it's funny how they've done it was a, ever so hard. a pear shape rather that than... They, they could better. have just finished that off lower down, couldn't they? And then yeah. left that seam. But, but you see see how I was slightly off there? Yeah. Whereas this one, it's... Yeah. We'll sew so it together and see what happens. Well. So let's just try it. So I bet, I bet you when I sew it, it's going to go wrong. Now, these Stop are... Stop being so negative, These Janice. are quarter-inch seams. Quarter-inch seams. Uh, quarter-inch? Yeah. Quarter-inch. Two options, remember. You've got the one that Janice has made. Oh, hang on. The one she's making, which is purple. The purple. This one's like Barney. And then the it? one at the bottom of the screen is that one that we've already, she's already made. Which one? Which colour do you prefer, John? In the... Well, in life. Or out of the dinosaur no, out choices. Dinosaur choices. Uh, I think the orange works best because it clashes, but the way you're making this with the purple body, it's going to be actually quite nice. It's going to be quite nice. Because, isn't it? because the thing is, because you get half a metre of each of the fabrics, you can choose which way round you do it. So if you wanted to make that orange with a spotty green tummy, you could do, because you've got all four fabrics. Actually, where's the cream? The white. The white, the cream, where's that? It's in the kit. No, no, it's in the kit. So that, do you got half a metre to make that? I know, in the eyes. That's it. 
But like you say, you could make the legs. I think it's brilliant though, you know, because it's, the, the thing is, with all these fabrics, you'll have them in your stash. You'll have them in your stash forever. Well, they're never wasted, are they? Plain no, never. fabrics. Plain no, I was trying to explain that wasted. to little Paul earlier, because he was saying, oh, it's got too much of this fabric. Got too... Yeah, but it's, it's never wasted, never is it? Never wasted. Because, so you could make a cream one with an orange tummy. You can make an orange one with a cream tummy or cream spots. You can, because you get half a meter of each of the fabrics. You could make, and you could make the mouth. The mouth out of the spotty fabric would be fun, yeah. wouldn't it, you see? You can do it any way you like. Do whatever you like, really. So. Right, that's it. So, so then all you do is take your tailor's tack stays. Or, no, you will need stitch, not your tailor's stays, yeah. but you can take them out. Let your mind up, Janice, though. Tacking so, stitch, is, tacking isn't it? Tacking stitch. Then the Janosaurus. Oh, no, Janosaurus. hang on, that's not even the same as Jano or Jasaurus. Janosaurus. Jano. I like Jano. <laughs> yes. Janosaurus. No. It's just going on and on. No, Janosaurus. Another go. message from Julianne. <laughs> Every time I'm sad, I imagine a T Rex trying to put on a hat. <laughs> oh, she's on the same wavelength as you, isn't she? <laughs> Oh, but they're lovely. I love dinosaurs. Right then. So that really has worked out better. That's than brilliant, that one. Wanted. It's turned out really well. But like I say, just be careful. Yeah. Just, just do the tacking first. Look at it because it's so easy to go off. So, And really, that's the most Trickiest difficult thing. part of it. And would you so, press it at this point or not? Yeah, you'd press it open and, you know, so. And what yeah. would you use to and press it, Janice? The mini iron. So if if we if we use I will press this one to use the mini iron. All right. I was going to do the mini iron. We've still got that. We've still got. That's now. And all the attachments. Yeah, I'll go through the attachments in a second. So if we just this is the mini iron. Face. It's called the adapter. It's for all two. You know the adapter. <laughs> uh, Forty nine <laughs> pounds and ninety five pence. Now it comes with. The, the uh, head that uh, the, uh, the um, what would you call that? The attachment that Janice is using, but you can buy separate attachments for it for other jobs, which I'll go through in a second. The mini iron is about uh, ideal for making toys can you and see small that? products. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. Can they see it? Ideal for making small products. Yeah. It's just another thing that you should always have. <laughs> Get someone to bite you as a birthday present. Or Christmas. Or Christmas. Christmas. Christmas in July soon. Oh, I know. It's quite frightening the way the months are going, oh, isn't it? Oh, it's terrifying. Little Paul says he's achieved nothing this year. I think you have, Little Paul. <laughs> he's nothing. had his appraisal and he's still here. <laughs> so what time's yours, John? You'll be fine. Mine's half past 12 today. You, so John. I could be out of the building by two. <laughs> On the motorway, on the way. Go on. On the way home. <laughs> yes, we start to fill in a questionnaire. About you two. Do you know what you're going to have to do? Oh, what? Like that lady said, write books. Because a lot of people do, don't they? What's that? Write books. Who, me? <laughs> you will. Yeah, I will do eventually. I'm not ready if, to write a book yet. If they sack yet. you, write a book. No, if they sack me, I'll, and I've got another job lined up, it's fine. Oh, OK. <laughs> there we you go, it. then, viewers. Um, what, Paul? What's that bit? No, I'm just not. Pressing what it on the, the outside as well, just to make sure it looks really good. Do you know good. what you could have used? You could have used the hand to do that, couldn't you? Yeah. There we go. Just ironing it. Because that's the perfect, that's the perfect job for that. No, I've got no, not got anything here. No, it's fine. Ideal for this job. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Look. Okay, brilliant. So that now looks really nice, doesn't it? Have you finished with that now? So, Will you be doing more of that? Um, I could do, but no, I would use it more for the... Oh, you will, I'll leave it, okay. Right, so um, that's, yes, that's uh, the tummy part. Right. So then, we've got the arm. Yes. We've got the leg. Right. You have two of these and two of these, as you know. Really? <laughs> so the first thing you do on this one, the arm. Again, we've got the markings, we've got tailor's tacks on there and there. Yeah. So you put the right sides together first. So Looks around like the outside, fish. but what we have to do, we have to leave an opening for the stuffing. Oh, yes. Because we, like, we have to lightly stuff it. Yeah. So that's what we do first. So 
if I sew the quarter of an inch down. Yeah. Around. Now again, on the actual pattern piece, there are the markings for the quarter of an inch. Right. If you're not a brilliant sewer, or we're lucky, I've got a quarter inch foot. foot. Um, if you're not that lucky and you're unsure, just do the stitch, running stitch and the tacking. Do you know what I'm saying? You, could all, you can also draw it on using a tape measure in one of our pencils or markers, couldn't you, if you wanted to? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now you are changing your thread colour. I'm going to change summer. my thread because of it being. Okay, I'm going to go to set two. Well, so. uh, just explain to me what you're going to do while I'm where you're just going to stitch, I'm just gonna all, stitch all the way around the way corner down edge. and follow the foot round, leave an opening. I'll put that in the middle for you for us to turn it because then yeah. we've got to stop it. So you're stitching quarter of an inch all the way around there, round his three toes. Yeah. Round there, round there, round there, round, all the way around, apart from leaving a gap there leaving to a gap stuff it. To stop it. All right, That's it. You do what? Okay. You do that because I'm going over here. <laughs> Now, I don't know how anybody thinks I'm going to stand behind here. <laughs> yep. Stuffed animal book. £16.95. pence. How many projects are in that? 16. Just over a pound a project. I'm going to have to move everything because I can't show you the book. make a bit of space oops there we go I'm ready with you now stuffed animals from concept to construction I've not seen this one before 16 projects and 52 lessons 16 pounds and 95 pence now oh it has been on once before right designing stuffed animals maybe she buy this for Joe Carter for her birthday That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Uh, so all the different details. Then part two onto the projects. Fish. Oh, do you know what? We're going to love this now because, oh, look. There's natural. And just in case you didn't know what you're making, right? There's a picture of a fish. That's a real fish. Carry on. They do a lot of fishes, look. Bumblebee. Oh, look. Now, if somebody's going to make one of those, that'd be fabulous for my feng shui tree in my, my sitting room. Uh, so that's the, we're still, look at that, that's the back of the bee. Elephant. We like that. Could make that out of the elephant fabric earlier. Um, I'll go quicker. Ram. Bunny. Oh, I love the bunny's ears. Look at, oh, these are fabulous. I've never seen this book before. Puppy. Woof. The thing about soft toys is they always look a bit weird before you've stuffed them, don't they? <laughs> yes. Um, lessons, all has to do with the eyes and that. Lion. That's obviously a boy lion, that one. Cat. Oh, dear. That cat looks a bit manky, doesn't it? I love him. It's half cat, half cow, that one, I think. Oh, what was that? Hang on. What's that? But look at the camel. Look at the camel. Love. I love the camel. Is it a dromedary if it's only got one hump? One hump or two. <laughs> That's what little Paul looks like most mornings when he comes in. He wears check trousers like that. He loves tweed. And he's also got a very, and he's also got a purple face. He's got, he hasn't got anywhere near as much check. Crab. Teddy bear, we've done two teddy bears. I love this book, kangaroo. Blimey, there's so many kangaroo. Oh, monkey. Cheeky monkey. Eating a banana. <laughs> Eating a banana. Does it show you how to make the banana? It does. Oh, fantastic. Right, hippo. I'll have to tell you my story about being chased by hippos another day. Dinosaur, it's got a dinosaur in it. Zip it. That must be it. That must be all. Oh, yeah. And then there's all the templates there. And it's brilliant. Just over a pound a project, that. Are they, the, are they the right side? I haven't got my glasses on. Look. 
There's so many templates in there as well. That is a brilliant book, 16 pounds and 95 pence. Abigail Patner Glassenberg, brilliant book, 16.95. Yeah, I said that, 52 lessons. Right, what? Oh, the pattern. Now we've got this, Janice has been on before, once or twice. And uh, this is brilliant. I, I'm going to get this out, actually. This is the pattern, right? I'll, I'll show you, first of all. You can make stars, you can make cushions that are like a bow, or you can make a heart, or you can make letters, right? And then, you made a heart, didn't you make a heart as well last time? Yeah. I wonder where that is. Anyway, you need to see the size of these letters. This is what's brilliant. You get all, all of this, right, in the pattern. Look, <laughs> I'm going to make the right mess now, aren't I? Look at the letters. Oh, it's upside down. What help? I did it the right way up. Huge. They're like balloon letters, aren't they? Look. Hang on, which one are you on? They're huge, right? So you're in the... In the... In the... In the um, pattern you get you get all of the letters you get all the letters right but you also get the pattern to, the, the pattern for this the bow the bow cushion which Janice made out the Tanya Whelan fabric last time she did this and the start now there's a heart somewhere as well isn't there uh, but they all come they, the patterns those obviously this is sold out this fabric now but the pattern all that comes in the pattern eight pounds and 45 pence I've got two more books but which one do you want to see the Home sewn nursery. I will get back to Janice in a second. She's like, Ooh, this, this is another book I've not seen. Oh, somebody's been at this book. Right. Home sewn nursery, this one's called. Another lovely one. I've not seen this one before. Tina Barrett made this one. £14.95. Now, this one's a little bit more uh, difficult to open, but. Oh, there, here we go. Out of, oh, look! 20 projects, love that hat. Reversible buggy liner. So it's not just toys in this one, you see, it's something good. Easy peasy sun hat. Uh, changing bag. Oh, look. Baby's cock quilt. There's so much jungle wall art. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Caterpillar toy. Oh, look. It's cute, isn't it? Do I will do up? Uh, froggy hooded towel. That's you can pay a fortune for those. If you go to that, no, no, dot com, um, they sell them on there. Oh look, baby's bib. He's gorgeous. No, it's not. Nursery. I've never seen this one before. Nursery cushion. Uh, flower garden cot mobile. There's so much going on in here. If you've got friends who are having babies, twenty different projects. But look, in the back of the book, you get all the patterns. But you see, someone's already been in here. Who's made something out of this book? Oh, was it you? You made what? Skittles. The Skittles? Is that where the Skittles were then, there? Yeah, didn't have time to Janice, try Janice, you're not meant to... I didn't have time to try it. Right. So that one's already gone. Yours won't be chopped out like that. But they're easy to make, aren't they, everything in there? Yeah. Beautiful. Right, I'll go back to Janice now. I'll let Amy tidy up. Oh. And that, I didn't have time to Don't be taking even our secrets away, <laughs> Janet. I only got the fabric on the Thursday. I was on the show on the Friday. I didn't have time to finish them properly. I didn't properly. have time to finish the fabric. Shut up, <laughs> Right, carry on. Anyway, so all I've done, machine drained, gone into each of the doors or talons, and then you've got little markings, and what you've got to do is clip it into them before you turn it. Oh, okay. So what we need is little scissors. Yeah. And you've just got to make sure you don't cut it into your stitching. Stitches, yeah. So if we just take the tailor's tax out anyway. Oh yeah, it's my If you got any basket, tax. please check out. Limited, limited, limited stock. That's it. Okay, so all we do, clip in to them without going into your stitching. So always just leave it a little but bit. You go right the way almost to the stitching, aren't yeah. you? But you just have to be careful yeah. at this stage. And then what we're going to do is turn that out. Well, you might need Derek the topper. <gasps> Are you all right? 
Oh, oh, I should stop. My Derek the Dopper. Oh, I should stop going. There's <laughs> <laughs> Derek the Dopper. I used to see me pack. I know you do. Bit, it so. makes me no, puts my teeth on edge. No, if it, what, what I do, John, my trick is if I do the seam me for a bit. Yeah. And that's when I get the cotton and pull the edges yeah. out if I need to. You know what I mean? Just all you oh. do with the seam me is just be really careful. Do you, do you, you come as a, have you come as a dinosaur? <laughs> you want me to use the dubber, don't you? No, no, I'm pointing your outfit <laughs> how it matches the... Um... I know, the green. It does, doesn't it? Little Paul thinks you've used the leftover fabric. Even I can see that's completely different. <laughs> different colour. <laughs> Little Paul's colour blind. <laughs> and obviously sees spots bigger than they really are. Yeah, it's true. There you go. But you don't want that. No, I don't want that. Say that again. He's going to report me to HR, apparently. <laughs> Remember the show, Soasaurus? That's what we called it anyway, wasn't it? <laughs> Remember, you get the, in the bundle, you get the pattern. You get the two options, one with the green and orange. There's the green one with the orange. But you also get the pattern, the interfacing, the stuffing, the thread, the buttons. You need to, well, Little Paul had a good idea earlier. If you come, just come back to this one. Oh, hang on. Little Paul would sew the excess buttons down the front there like he's got a coat on. Especially when he's made a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see his face. Look, he's supposed to be smiling because he's having a little tumble, tickled tummy. Look, they've cut his head off. Come on, Michael. Follow the narrative. <laughs> that's spoiled now. He stopped laughing now. So again, that's my other tip. You go in. <laughs> you need some specs on. <laughs> John, will you pack it up? <laughs> it doesn't do me. Well, you've been annoying today. Oh, oh we'll get oh, letters you've now. Oh, been no, annoying you carry on today. I'll stay quiet. Right, Janice, the rest of the show is yours. <laughs> half, half an hour to No, film you know, now, Martin does exactly what you're doing. I think. Who's you know, Martin? The other half. And if, he, if I'm concentrating on sewing, and he'll say, Look at this on the eye. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to look at it. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can say that to you now. I know you well enough now. What? <laughs> I can say behave yourself, John. Is it Martin? They're asking, is it Martin from Homes Under the Hammer that you're going out with? Yeah. <laughs> so, again, another tip for pulling stuff out. I'm ignoring you. That wasn't me. That was from your producer. <laughs> I'm ignoring you, Paul. OK. Right. Put that in. Double thread and pull it out. And then we just manoeuvre them. A bit. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to have there for? <laughs> Come back here. Behave yourself. There you go. Look. Look, John. What? John, don't you turn your back on me. All right, look. There you <laughs> well, go. You can tell she's used to saying that, can't you? <laughs> don't you turn your back on me, Martin. <laughs> right, look. There you go. So that's your little claw. OK, you So you've just got to just give it a press again. No. Now, believe it or not, this hasn't turned out as well as the other one. The tummy has. But they did yesterday. Look, they yeah. turned out lovely yesterday. Well, you didn't have it's me always the way, isn't it? Well, you didn't have me well, this yesterday, is it. did you? <laughs> we'll get letters now, Janice. No, you won't. We will. Don't yeah, you right. pick on Janice, they'll say. So then all we do, get our maybe for stuffing. Oh, you are doing a bit of stuffing then. <laughs> and then we just stuff it. Stuff it. Like so. Now we need the bodger. Uh, morning, John and Janice. Love the stuffed animals book, especially the camel. Didn't your brother have a camel? Ah. <laughs> Who? You? Your brother? Come on. No, no, not my brother in this life. Uh, on this morning, I was regressed to two of my oh, past lives. You? And you can look at it on YouTube. And I was a gem um, seller that? in biblical that? times. And my brother had a camel. Right, and the camel yeah. used to make me laugh, apparently. Oh, so, um, no. they, they, and I was hypnotised into going into a past life. See, we were talking about a past life, yeah. wasn't we? Because um, Amy's grandmother was regressed as well. Yeah. 
And there is something in it. Uh, Tracy says, John, you don't need an appraisal. You're just perfect. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, they've got a whole hour to tell me. <laughs> Little Paul says he hates working with me and I need an appraisal. <laughs> Only because I complained about how much tea you drank. That was all. That was my one <laughs> negative, right? How's this, right? You can say... You can say as many nice things as you like, right? And one negative, and all they pick up on is the one negative, isn't it? It's always the way, isn't it? It's always the way. The what? I, that, that's the only negative I said. So the, the rest must come from the other presenters. <laughs> so then all we're doing now is tucking it in, and we're just going to close that edge up just with a little stitch. So. Up plus 12. So, again, just wipe. Well, no, because you'll have to be having your lunch, Paul. And then I'll come out afterwards. While I'm packing my bag, you can tell me how well we did today. <laughs> well, I'm packing my bag. Oh, John. I'm, I, you know, as the day goes on, I'm, I'm feeling sorry for you, John. Do you know what? I'd John. like to see him try. <laughs> I'd like to see... If you see uh, fireworks over uh, Digbert this <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> so then all we're doing... Is closing up the hole that was Oh, they've got open. me worried now. <laughs> and then we're just going to... Just going to close it up right. with a little slip stitch. Uh, um, it comes together. It's like a kind of an afternoon's... It's like an afternoon's project, would you say? It is, really. Yeah. Took me ages yesterday. <laughs> oh, now she's there. An afternoon's project? Yeah, it took me ages. How long did it take you? No, it took... What I didn't do, I didn't check this. So I put it all together and realised that that was out. Oh, OK. So that's why I'm saying to the just viewer... Just the bit here, the bit yeah, here. that's why I'm saying to the viewer, don't just assume it's going to go OK. Do you know what I mean? John, so. will you be selling Sashiko sewing needles anytime soon? I've never done Sashiko. I've never heard I of it. I thought you could just use a normal needle, can't you? I don't or know. Or just mean a machine needle? I don't know. I don't, I've never done Sashiko, so I don't no, know I what don't, it is. No, I've never done Sashiko. Why is it, Paul? Because you did it yesterday. By hand. Uh, the specials, uh, maybe there are special, special sashiko needles. Uh, no, Tracy, I'm, uh, Karen, sorry, I don't know. I don't know. No. I've not done sashiko yet. I've never done sashiko. No. Let's have a go. It always has a reaction, does the shashiko, shash, sashiko show. Ooh. If I say that with someone else's teeth. <laughs> so we're just quickly going. Oh, I could do some, get some lunch. Are you hungry? What's the matter, little Paul? Go. Oh, oh, right. Little Paul's just looked up Sashiko needles and he's going to ask them to order some for the next Sashiko show. Oh. Karen. I know. <laughs> Sashiko show. <laughs> We're being ever so quiet for a dinosaur show, you know. As you, you, you tell, every time I speak, you tell me to shut up. No, I'm not going to tell you to shut up, don't worry. <laughs> Do you like my grey hair? I love the colour, but... Should have been blonde. Oh, should it? <laughs> isn't, it ash, isn't it ash silver, ash blonde? Yes, that? it's something like that. Did yeah. you have to, no, because you don't have to peroxide it. That's just a colour no, you've washed through, isn't it? No, it was a colour, yeah. Well, you obviously looked at the label wrong. <laughs> I it like it. It's very trendy, though. What you should do now is you should do the ends pink, just the tips of pink yeah. now. Or blue, or purple. No, I had blue hair in the seven, uh, when I was younger. And, uh, and then, <laughs> no, not in the sixties. See, I never played with my hair until now. I never. Oh, no. I, I had never, Phil Oakey hair. I, one, I had very short on this really? side, very long on that side. But it made you walk like this. You went because yeah. you had long hair on that side. Because you you couldn't get the colours too much. Then crazy colour. You can now. Barnsley got my first tub of crazy colour in. Bar other hair colour and are available in uh, Barnsley. Gosh. South Yorkshire. Right, so we're just finishing going yeah. around here. And then on the actual dinosaur, the arms are placed and they've got the placement marks on the actual body. Right. That you'll have shown earlier. Okay. So then what happens then? Is you actually so do you put the arms on? You do all this before no, you, you stuff no, it. Then? Yeah, um, no, you, you do this 
um, yeah, before you stuff it. Okay. So, and what you do, you, you literally, I'm going this that way, like, that's it, yeah. that's it. You actually put it on, so there's your actual markings. Yeah. And that's where you sew to. So, yeah. Pop them on and just pin them on and then machine. Oh, you machine them on? You machine these on. Oh, yeah, I've not noticed. Yeah. Here, I'll show it's you on the front. the legs, finishing. your hands sew so on. If you look here, or do you want me to show that one? It's coming off, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you have... So it's machines. I thought it would be whipped on, but it's machines no, sticked it's on. No, it's machines. Oh, Penny, we did, have the, we did have the zebra fabric on its own. It sold out. You can still get the kit, but uh, just so you know, Penny, if the kit... Oh, no, the kit will sell out, won't it? I'll, I'll get them to reorder it, definitely, Penny, because it was so popular, I promise you. So I've got an itchy elbow. What does that mean? I don't know. Normally, it's your hand, isn't it? Yeah, it's your hand for money, isn't it? So then, we do the leg. Okay. And the leg, again, we just machine move round. Move that out of the way, move that out of the way. We just machine round, all the way round. You've got 14 minutes, so you can show us how to. Apart from at the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to machine a quarter of an inch. Yeah. Six millimetres, uh -huh. all the way round. Right. There. And then we put the actual, that's the actual bottom of the foot. That you actually put on. So again... Just with the machine, needle down, and away we go. Do reverse stitch at this stage. Everything you need to make the whole uh, not zebra, what is it, a dinosaur, is in the kit. In the the kit. fabric, the embroidery thread, the thread. That's the one that Janice has made. Now remember, you can make two of them out of the kit. The fabric, yeah. And then the one at the bottom of the page is the one that Janice is making. And again, beautiful fabric, um, and it will just look lovely. Children love it. But then again, adults will, because adults uh, love dinosaurs yeah, too, don't they? Dinosaurs. So, you can have them all across the back yeah. of the car. Not the, pe not the people <laughs> who lived with them, I suppose. But no, could you imagine? Mm. <laughs> it's frightening to think, though, isn't it? In, the, in prehistoric times, they were alive, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I know. It's unreal, isn't it, Summer? You yeah. can't believe it. You can't, you can't imagine it, can you, really? You know that whale that they put up at the um, museum? museum. Yeah. They've had that since 1890, that whale. Oh, have they? They bought it in 1890. Gosh, that's amazing. What's that circle for that you've um, tailor-tacked on there, then? The bottom right of the foot. Oh, that's to place it. Oh, when you place it. Oh, sorry, now, okay, what then. they do in this book... Like, you'll probably think, why didn't I leave an opening for the stuffing? Yeah. But what they do, they do a slip mark. Oh, okay. There, yeah. and then you machine it. You, right. you hand sew it. Well, you have left a one so, bit. Oh, I see. So you have to, you do a slip mark, ready to turn it. Right. So what I did, I actually did it in the middle of that circle. Right. So it wouldn't be seen. So, and then what you do when you've turned it and you've stuffed it, you actually sew that slit up, and then that's the part that goes to the foot if you know what I'm saying so if I do the slip first before I put the bottom because it will be a bit tricky I'm gone that's it and just make sure that it, this one the slit where the slit is goes on the actual inside yes oh so you've got to do two if you're making two you've got to make two opposite ones slit yeah. on the opposite side to yeah. each one so all I do is do a little slit the scissors making sure you don't go through to the reverse of the oh, fabric yes that's it only a little one. Yeah. That's all you need to do. And then what you do with this, it's exactly like you put on the bottom of a bag. <laughs> so you... Or a bit like the tummy, really, isn't it? Yeah. So what you do on the actual... There isn't no markings on this, so if you assess the halfway mark... Yeah. So you could just do that by folding it in half. Yes. Stick a pin to get your halfway mark in the edge. Just go into the, like you're creating a... You could just press it in, I suppose, if you didn't want to have yeah. a pin there, but... So that's your pin. Okay. Into there, that will give you your centre mark. And again, you just bead it round. Exactly like... And line up the other side as well. Okay. Might as well do that at the uh, same Penny's time. got back. Uh, thank you, John. We'll watch the show, which I recorded earlier, just in from shopping. Oh, Pen. Oh. Yeah, it sold out like that. But, um... 
the kit's still available from that hour, but the actual fabric isn't. But keep, keep your eye out. Because we always have the fabrics in anyway, don't we? The, the, well, we've not had that um, zebra fabric in, but we'll definitely get that in again because it's brand new, new today. One. It's all sold out, apart from what's in the kit. Yeah, it's good. Again, just put the pin in. Just oh, just remember, Jane McDonald tickets go on sale today for her 20th year in show business tour. Really? Yeah, in Birmingham. She's coming to Birmingham next year. Oh, she's lovely, isn't she? Well, I used to do her frocks for her. Oh, did you? Yeah, for her tours and everything. She, she's a lovely girl, isn't she? She's from just outside Wakefield. She's from Osset, isn't she? She's lovely. Yeah. Lovely West Yorkshire girl. No, she's smashy. She's not as lovely as Carol McGiffin, though. Talk about loose women. Oh, is, she, is Carol nice? Her. Oh, she's one of my best friends, Carol. Oh, is yeah. she? Because she's been ever so poor, Yeah, she? she lives in France now. She lives there? Mm. Oh, does she? Yeah. Because you never see her now. You never... No, really... no, she still writes her columns for magazines. I oh, think. does she? Just she? Any but telly she can or do it from yeah. home, can't she, Carol? I think she's just taking it a bit quieter now. Yeah. Because her mum and her sister were both poorly with the same oh, thing. Oh, are they? Oh. No, it's a wicked thing, isn't it? Mm. So you're just so literally pinning... I'm just feeding it round. Yeah. Just feeding it round. But what I also do with this is I don't take this to the machine. I tack it. This is where I tack. Little bits. like it's Your machine's eventually, bits. though, won't you? Oh, you yes. I tack it first. Get the pins out. And then, and then see that flat? Yes. There. So what I always do is tack this round before I do anything else. Yeah, I'm not leave it in you? green. Yeah, I should How are we doing for time? Oh, yeah, we're all right. Um, whoops. Going blind in my old age. What? <laughs> going blind in my old age. You've got your glasses on. I know. My mother sees better than me. Anyone who has cataracts sees better. <laughs> Nothing going to it. Right, so all I do, again, just pop in. Needle in it. You get a whole bag of stuff in, in the kit, you'll have more than enough more stuff than in. Enough. Did you use uh, like about half the bag or something for it? No, not really. Not even that? No. So you've got stuffing left in your stash, you'll have fabric left Again, in your stash. You have everything left. And oh, mind you, if you're making two, if you're making yeah. two, then you'll then there's you'll definitely. Because normally we say, normally we say, don't we? Um, you can make two out of it, there's not enough stuffing. There's definitely enough stuffing enough there to stuffing. make two. What do you want? Uh, oh, you could scale it up or down, but you'd have to know about, um, because the seam allowance is included, and if you scale it yeah. up, then all your seam allowance is scaled up, so the pieces might not fit together. Always have so, a no, go. That's a good question to ask. <laughs> good. Always have a go. Yeah, you always have a go, yeah, exactly. But when, when something's got seam allowance included in it, if you extend it, won't necessarily, pieces won't necessarily fit together, will they? What you have to do is take the seam allowance off, grade it properly, and then try and put it back together again. Be lovely, a huge one, wouldn't it? Like a floor know, cushion can one. You imagine? Oh, and you could sit it with its legs like you could sit inside watching the telly, and these could be your armrests like that. Well, I think if you've got the basic shape, do you know what I mean? You could just have guesstimate, couldn't you? And just how big's what, Paul? Why? Yeah. Well, there's plenty of room for that. <laughs> Ask Kaylee; she's been round. <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine the reaction if I did. <laughs> Little Paul. <laughs> right then. He's not even listening to me. Isn't he? What did I say? Yes, and there was no reaction. OK. So there we go. So that's it. OK, machine so it. So again, machine. Now, which way do you machine it? Now, this one, I will go now that way and okay. hold the foot, foot down. Foot up. Yeah. And the bottom down. Yeah. Because uh, it's easier to machine it. Most popular so, in two is the one that's already made. It's always the way, isn't it? There he is. I think a Barney with the other one. He what, what? You know, Barney, the dinosaur that was on TV. But that's this colour, the one that you're the making. Purple, that's yeah. the colour of Barney was, isn't it? And Jurassic Park. When you, just a coincidence, we haven't copied. It's just the essence of Barney. Yeah, it's easy. It yeah, just happens to be the Barney. <laughs> right, there's my scene with that. Oh, oh. Oh. Again, it's okay, it's just gone a little bit 
increased. A couple of minutes just to finish the foot off. Mm. <laughs> That's the dinosaur again. doing an impression of Janice's sewing machine. Uh, just very quickly, <laughs> why are we saying that, Janice? Because you got a couple yeah. of So you, you, you made the mouth by cutting a piece of the fabric and then blanket stitching it on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, sorry. Right. Sorry. No, no, it's all right. Oh, Not bad. Sorry, say again. You made the mouth by just cutting a piece of the cream fabric yeah. into a zigzag shape into and then blanket zigzag. stitching on. It's the pattern's there. Oh, the pattern piece is there. The pattern's there and, and for the eye. And the eye. Now, yeah. you've put buttons on the eye. We've put buttons in the kit so you can have buttons as the eye. But if you're giving it to a... Now, this is just me saying yeah. this now. I'll move into the shop a little bit, shall I? Uh, this is just me saying it. Um, I wouldn't give a little child, if you get a little child to play with, buttons. That's just my own... You could do it with felt. You could do it with felt. You could stitch it on or something yeah. like that. Or embroider it on, you know what I mean? Because I just... I think it looks lovely with the buttons. But if you are giving it to a little kiddie, little yeah. child, be just careful. be careful, really. I mean, if it was one made in a shop, it would say... Uh, removable parts don't give to under three year olds, something like that, wouldn't it? But I just like to be safe, you know, safe than sorry. Right, I'll just quickly turn it around to the outside. Oops. Right, that's done, that's split big enough. Why? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Little Paul said you wouldn't give it to a child under three anyway because they'd be scared of it. How could they be scared of that? They love them. They yeah, exactly. Love Are you telling them he's not a dad yet, you see? <laughs> the three year olds are like the eight year olds now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are the one there. Come on, that's it. Right, so here we go. Knees your foot. <laughs> <laughs> also, the other thing is, is don't worry about it being a little bit creased because, like Joe always says, when you stuff it, that stuffs out a lot of the creases yeah. and seams and everything, doesn't it? Should have cut, just cut into the corner yeah, to make mind. it. But that's it in a nutshell. And then you stuff it. So you press it. Then you'd stuff it on the inside, it. and then you'd attach it. Circle. Oh, circle, circle. to circle. Did your hand stitch that one to on there? Circle, then? Yeah. and then that's brilliant. Like that. Janice, it's been so a joy as ever. It. Now, when are you in next? Because you've got a bit of a gap now, haven't you? September. September. Janice, I'll see you back in September. Have a lovely time. I will. I'll see you in a second because I'm see just going to go in here. Everyone, say cheers, Janice. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> OK, let me show you the stuffed animal book, because that's... Very, oh, sorry, Janice exiting the building. Stuffed animal book. I've never seen this one before. I love it. Stuffed animal from con concept to construction. It's lovely, isn't it? For 16 95, 16 projects, and how many? How many? 52 lessons. 52 lessons. So it's all about the techniques and everything to begin with, and then I love these projects. The fish. Fish is gorgeous. Uh, so we've got fish, I'll just, bumblebee, but look at all the instructions. Look at all the instructions. Elephant. I love the elephant. Uh, what else have we got here? Ram. Hmm? Bunny. Puppy. All the detail. Lion. Lion's cute, isn't he? Look. Um, cat. We're skimming past the cat. Camel. We love the camel. Uh, what else have we got in here? Uh, monster. That's Paul, little Paul's favourite. He'd like that one. Oh, look at the big ears. Um, crab. Teddy bear, kangaroo, monkey, no. Oh, sorry. Monkey to the banana. Oh, look, you seem to show you how to make the banana look. Can you see that? It's not edible, obviously. You could, you could just put a real uh, elephant, hippo. You could put a real uh, 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 banana in, but be careful because it'll go off. Right, don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere because I've got John's Fabric Finds coming up after the break. Um, I don't know what I found yet. No, I've got lovely uh, checks and slots and flowers and books. Just, just join me in three minutes. That's the best thing to do, really, is it? Make sure you check out your basket of everything that you've uh, had so far because they are selling out very, very fast. I'll see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. 
Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Meet Joe Avery, the latest addition to the Sewing Quarter family. Joe is a talented quilter whose creations have been exhibited all over the world. She'll join us on Saturday the 15th of July for her debut shows in which she'll demonstrate a cathedral window block and an improv house design. Jo has been sewing and quilting for 25 years, so expect plenty of handy tips and techniques to help you improve your skills. So tune in and help give Jo a warm welcome. That's Saturday the 15th of July at 8am and 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a ladder stitch. Now this is a great stitch when you want to sew something up and create an invisible stitch. Now first of all, I'm just going to use the example of something like a pin cushion, but I need to bring these two edges together using the invisible stitch, which is known as the ladder stitch. So first of all, I'm going to take my needle up through the fold. So I'm going to be concealing the knot in the thread. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle in through the fold of the fabric and come out. So you can see that I'm on the actual fold there, so obviously there's the, the raw edges are inside my pincushion. I'm going to take that through. Now I'm going to go to the opposite side and repeat that stitch. So I want to make sure that this is parallel. So I'm going to come in through that fold and come out. So again, I'm making these stitches really big so you can see what I'm doing. So you can see how I'm going across the whole of the fabric. So if I just keep doing a few stitches. So as you can see, we have the ladder stitch there going across the two pieces of fabric. So when I pull my thread, you can see that almost makes those stitches invisible. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. There are only seven days till our Christmas in July when a whole host of guests will be dropping by. Join us for Christmas in July, July the 21st to the 25th. Now, I'd hate to start off with this, but please check out your baskets. If you've got anything in your basket already, things are going fast. And I don't want you to be disappointed. Um, you can check out as many times as you like. You only pay one P&P at the end of the night. At, at midnight tonight, it's all consolidated. So if you've checked out eight times, you'll still only pay one posting package of £2.95. Right? John's Fabric Finds coming up now. Lovely little bundles. I've got some books. I've got some threads. I've got a thread down the holder and everything for you this hour. Um, there was something else I was going to say to you. Anyway, let's move on. Right, I'll go through the, I'll go through the five, bun one, two, three, five bundles quickly, then we'll go through them all, um, as it were, uh, in detail. This one, first one, is called Chickens. Oh, Paul's called it Chickens. Country Blue, this one's called. Country Blue. Half a metre of the chicken fabric, half a metre of the blue gingham, and half a metre of the plain pale blue there. Pearl blue, not pale blue, pearl blue. Uh, lovely, aren't they? I'm only going to go through them quickly and then we'll do the folding and everything like that. Uh, this one's nice. I love this. is my favorite. Oh, I'm allowed a favorite. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is very country kitchen, this one, isn't it? Uh, country garden, this one. Country garden, you get the. Um, uh, they're all 100% they're all, uh, cotton, these. Cotton, cotton, cotton. Cotton gingham and bright red. Nice, aren't they? Okay, then moving on to... Okay, I'll do another blue one that's here. This one's nice. Now, this is lovely, this check fabric. This is... Where's the grey? 
Czech Grey. I don't know who makes up these names. I'm going to have to have a word in my appraisal afterwards. Czech Grey fabric. There's no grey in it. There's a lot of blue in it, but it's gorgeous. Really, really lovely, isn't it? A uh, metre and a half for £16.95. pence. Then we've got one that's a little bit different here. Got a floral fabric here. Amy Butler. It's an Amy Butler print with a spot on print. It's called Meadows Bloom. And they've called it Aqua. Uh, so what you get here, let me just move that out there, is you get the three fabrics. You get half a metre of the floral, half a metre of the spot on, and half a metre of the Aqua. Oh. £14.95. And last but not least, now, Little Paul's got a shirt made out of... Guess which fabric Little Paul's got a shirt made out of? The middle one. And the, and the end one. Right, now, this might look black on your telly. It's very, very, very dark navy. In fact, I call it almost midnight. But it's a really, really dark navy. Raspberry spot on, and then the check. I love that those two together. Are that one doesn't go, but those two together look gorgeous, don't they? Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Right? Uh, books. Very quickly. I won't go. I'll just tell you what they are now, and then we'll go through them later. It's just so uh, once the graphics have gone through, it means you can come in on the web or see them down there and start buying them. OK, uh, pretty little patchwork to start with. Gorgeous little work. It's just catching the light there, isn't it? There you go. S $7.95. I will go through all these with you in a second. I'm just doing an introduction of what we've got. Pretty little patchwork. 32 projects to sew in that one, to make in that one. What's the matter? Oh, no, hang on. Am I reading that wrong? Let, 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 lift it up. Yeah. Right, I didn't have my glasses on. I thought I was reading it wrong. Next one is that one. Home Sewn Home. 20 projects to make for the retro home. We love this book. I will go through all these with you in a second. <clears throat> I think you can't go wrong with a padded hanger. Like I just said, 20 projects to make for the retro home. Right, Sally Walton. And then last but not least, Sew Bunting by Debbie Shaw with the photo... Oh, I can't I'm not allowed to say it. She gets very angry. Uh, Debbie Shaw, because I, tell, I say, she's a friend of mine, and um, I keep saying that her photo's been uh, airbrushed. I'll show you later. You'll all know it's been airbrushed, but I won't mention the fact her photo's been airbrushed. 9 95 It's a book full of bunting, different kinds of bunting. £9.95. And, and then I've also got, while we're here, fabric-wise, I've got three fabrics by the half metre. You will have seen these already today, but they are selling very, very fast. Now, the uh, zebra one earlier sold out completely. So I'm starting off with uh, Glamour in Grape. The Ladies of Paris. Now, this is sold in the half metre, remember, that's £4.95 for half a metre. You can buy it in, in um, increments of the half metre. £4.95. That's wider, that fabric. It's like a, almost like a furnishing width, that one. OK, that's uh, that one. Then I've got two elephants. And I thought one of these had sold out. Because it didn't appear on the screen earlier. Right, OK. That sold out, sorry. I've got this one now. It's Ecru and Grey Elephants, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Premiere today. Uh, Premier today, it's lovely, isn't it? £3.55 for half a metre. 100% cotton. And now there's a few random ones in here. Where's my finger? There you go. Uh, you see, there's one with the trunk up. There's one with a big eye. Where's he? Hang on. There's a big ear there. Is there, one with, is there one with a big eye as well, did you say? That's his ear, not his eye, little Paul. Oh, yeah, the eye on you. And then there's him. He's a bit sad, that one, look. Three fifty-five half a metre anyway. <clears throat> okay, right. Let's do the bundles then. <laughs> yes, I've got more stuff to show you over there, but I'll do that in a minute. Right, let's start. Chickens. Now, what would you make out of this? You get half a metre of each of these. I can't do a chicken noise, I'm afraid. In fact, they're not chickens, are they? They're oh, they are. They're boys and girls. Because that the uh, boys, it's only boys that have these. Cox comes. 
So you got half a million. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> half a metre of the chicken fabric. Half a metre of the gingham. Now, I will tell you one thing about the gingham. It's printed. It's printed. <laughs> Will you be quiet upstairs, please? It's printed, so don't, if you're cutting seams, uh, straight lines, don't go by the pattern, go by the grain of the fabric. And then you've also got the pearl blue. <laughs> 13 pounds and 95 pence, one and a half metres of fabric. What are you gonna make out of it? Gorgeous for your stash. <laughs> Be quiet, Paul. I've got my... They're watching because I've got my appraisal today. How are you? Well, that's not come from me, just so you know. Oh, he's gone all quiet on me. Hardly. 13.95. One and a half metres. What's the matter? How big one? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Thirteen pounds and ninety-five pence. Right, we love this fabric. I've not seen it in this colourway before. I've seen it in the one that's called um, uh, Hessian, but that's a colour. It's not Hessian. It's one hundred percent cotton printed. Uh, it's Macau. This is called Homegrown Vegetables on Cream. I think this one isn't it. Nice, aren't they? Lovely. So kitcheny. Now you get half a metre of that. Then this is quite um, a controversial, I'd say, mix of fabrics, but it works. Because you then get half a metre of the gingham, which is going to make your eyes go funny now. Oh, no, it's all right. Sorry, sorry. No, it is. Here it is, though. Oh, no. Nice. I think they work beautifully together. So you've got the bright red, you've got the bright red there, which is this one, half a metre of this, half a metre of the gingham, and then half a metre of the country, well, I want to call it country kitchen, they've called it country garden. Oh, oh, do we grow aubergines in our gardens here, on our um, allotments? Aubergine, red peppers, garlic, spring onion. I don't know what that one is there. What, what's this? Uh, hang on, I don't know where we are. This one. No, that's a spring onion. What's that one? No, it's not. That's a garlic. So that must be what's halfway between a garlic and a spring onion. A shallot. That's little. A shallot, folks. Uh, what well, else? Well, what's that? Is that a radish, that one? No, that's a radish, isn't it? What's that one there, then? Beetroot. I had beetroot. Oh, not last night, night before. Little um, cherry tomatoes there. There, look, Carrot. I think that's it, isn't it? Is that a pumpkin or is that a pepper as well? It's either an out of, uh, out of scale pet pumpkin. It's our village's um, next week. No, this, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's our village's flower and vegetable show where you go along and you have a look at all the, everyone, everyone's, I'll take this fabric with me and I'll ask them. Um, no, that, I, I could say something there, but I won't. Um, uh, but anyway, so it's the one where you go and see Who's got the biggest marrow and things like that? I <laughs> know, oh, it's fantastic, my village. Anyway, this is nice. This lovely check. Nina always wins the tomato category. She always wins the tomato category, Nina. Now, they're called... The, oh, it's not called grey anymore. Yeah, I think so, because this one was called Grey before, wasn't it? Because there's no Grey in it. And I thought you changed the name. Oh, hang on, bring it in, because it didn't say... That's blue. It said Grey there earlier. What's that one called there, then, the other one? Oh, somebody's listening in and changed it. What's the other one called, then, the one where your shirt's made out of? Oh, there you go. So the Grey's gone, it's just called Check Blue Fabric. I wonder who did that. Who's listening to ch change that then? I'll tell you, no, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> um, it'd be Haley, not our Haley, the other Haley. Well, they're both our Haley's, really, aren't they? I wonder if it's Haley listening in. 
She's the one that goes off to Glastonbury and does all hippie things like that. £16, and I love this bundle. Look at those gorgeous colours together. £16 and 95 pence. What, 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 what would you make out of these? I'll go through the books in a minute because you could use lots of these because you're getting a metre and a half of fabric, aren't you? It's enough for a little project, isn't it? Cute, nice, nice. There we go. Uh, oh, no, flowers. We did flowers next, didn't we? Amy Butler flowers. It's called Summer Meadow, this one, isn't it? It's the Aqua Fabric Bundle, but this fabric is called... Oh, Meadow Bloom, sorry, Meadow Bloom. It's got tulips in there, hasn't it? Tulips and roses. Paul hasn't got a garden, so he doesn't know these things. You've still got tulips in your garden? They're a bit late, aren't they? Nice. Nice the way they work together, isn't it? If you've got an orange fabric at home that you could um, highlight it with, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? So hang on, this is the aqua. This isn't country blue. This is the aqua fabric, the aqua bundle here. Just so you know, because you might get those two confused. That's like, I love the way those work. I love that there, I love that. If you were to use them in a quilt, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? A log cabin, a log cabin maybe. Little Paul would do a cushion, he says. Reversible cushion. We've yet to see Little Paul sew, haven't said that. He's got his quilt block to make yet. Oh, I've really got my next door neighbour. Every time I come home, she goes, how's your quilt block? <laughs> she doesn't speak like that. How's your quilt block going? I'm like, oh, no, I haven't started it yet. I must start it, must start it. I'm in, I think I'm in for a run of about nine days. So if I do a little bit each day after, I'm off for the weekend and then I'm in for quite a few days then. So maybe I'll do it then. This is a lovely bundle, this one. This Paul's got a shirt made out of this. That's all he needed half of me to make a shirt for him. He wears it down, um, what's that road called? I can't remember now. But, yeah. Anyway, there's the check. But then look, you have a neckerchief, little Paul, made out of this one. Check it out. No, I'm spot on now. I'm not checking it out now. And you see, now, to me, that one's a bit dark for this bundle. That's his mood. So this is him going out, neckerchief shirt mood. And then, no, I don't, I'll tell you what it is. It's his neckerchief in his shirt and his chinos. And then he's got bright white trainers on, like Forrest Gump used to wear. There we go. Right. Now, which book did you say everyone wanted to see? Pretty little patchwork. Hello? Oh, sorry, you said you said I only did half a sentence. Pretty little patchwork. Oh, is it? Oh. Seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Pretty little patchwork, isn't it? Lovely. Thirty-two projects. <clears throat> So, so again, all the, all the details at the beginning about what you need, techniques. Uh, household help. Pocket quilt, patchwork, orange and potted pocket quilt. Pin cushions. They look like um, those Moroccan poofs, don't they? Home sweet home coasters. Oh, well, Marrakesh is gorgeous. You'd love it, Paul. Sp There's Marrakesh, but Mar Marrakesh is very, um, not touristy, but it's where a lot of the tourists go. You want to go off the beaten track a little bit. Um, I've filmed there a couple of times in Rabat and Kenitra. Spa sachets. This is lovely, isn't it? 
Uh, outside the box, living in a box, baby. Hanging with care. Oh, now, does it do quilt? Does it do padded hanging? Oh, we've made that one. I've made that one. I must have seen this book before because I made that one with Joe Carter. Uh, Jeanette, hello, John. Love your shows. Has someone called to consider doing a pack of swatches of all the plain fabrics? Uh, I would buy. Perhaps others would. Uh, Jeanette, I said that. I said that as well. The reason they don't do it is because the colours every week, there's new colours come out. So if we did a swatch pack of them, because when I remember last week, I did um, fabrics that I'd chosen, you know, Hannah and I had put them together ourselves. Um, and there were three reds I really loved and we either don't do them anymore or they were just new in. So they wouldn't be in this swatch packet. I said that though. Did you say there was another one? Is it coming up here? Oh, it's an email. Oh, good luck with your appraisal, John. <laughs> if they sack you, I shall turn to a, a rival channel in protest. There is no rival channel. There is no competition. We are unique. But thank you. Who was that from? Spell it for me. Oh, Jania. That's a nice name. Jania, Jania. J-A-N-I-A. -A. How do you say that name? Um, only because, only, only asked because we had this lovely lady uh, messaging and I kept calling her Tanis and her name, because it's spelled T-A-N-I-S and it's Tanis. Uh, and I, I got her to make uh, Hannah's birthday present for us. Yeah. Oh, got another message here, Lynette. Morning, John. Poppy Fabrics just arrived. I love, 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 love it. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Lynette. Is, did you buy the big one or the small one? Uh, Lynette, let me know. Oh, Karen. The fabric bundles you put together for us are brilliant. Excellent quality and great value for money. Thank you, Karen, my love. Thank you. Uh, right. Anyway, I want to know, Lynette, if you bought the big poppies or the small poppies, because Paul, I think he's thinking about buying me a present, was saying this to me this morning, which one of these did you say you wanted a shirt made out of, John? So I'm thinking Paul's going to get me a shirt made. Uh, Woolly Tote, just to say thank you for letting me still stay here. Letting me still, you stay, still stay here. Oh, Jenny Fox probably has had this book. Yoga bag. Yeah, you might have been employed months before me, Paul, but you might not stay for months after. Wearable flair. Oh, he's talking to someone else now, he's not even talking to me. Belt it out. Beautiful accent. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, Christmas decorations. Oh, it's to be Christmas in July soon. Is it seven days now? Aren't they lovely? Right. Pretty little battery at 7.95. Right, bestseller in the bundles. This one, my favourite. Because it's gorgeous. Well, they're all lovely, aren't they, really? They're all beautiful. Love this, though. Half a metre of the vegetable fabric. It's not called vegetable fabric, is it? It's, it's not, it's multi-directional, this. I thought it was one direction, but it's multi-direction. Homegrown vegetables on cream. 100% cotton, machine washable. Oh, I've, I've often done a vegetable, vegetables. I do roasted vegetables and then I make a creamy cheese sauce and mix them into that and then put them onto um, some gluten-free pasta. It's very nice. Oh, in fact, I might have that for my dinner tonight. That sounds nice. Look. Um, oh, yes, I'll talk to you about that later. £13.95. I think that's gorgeous. Let me just pull that one into shot a bit more so you get more. Oh. There you go, that's it, that's all I wanted there. 13 pounds, 95 pence. Oh no, which one? Oh, now the little Paul, little Paul on a night out has taken over the country village. It's one night out. I was watching that Judge Rinder yesterday when I was in the gym. And um, there were these two uh, boys and one had lent his friend 600 pounds, supposedly to help out with a difficult situation. He'd often bought chrome, what are those things called you put on your hubcaps? What are the things you put in your car? Those flashy... What, what? 
Yeah, like a bit of called wheelchairs, he called them. Anyway, he, he had, his friend hadn't realised. And he went, Judge Rinder said, what do you spend your money on? I don't, he said, do you go in? He went, I don't go out. And he was obviously such a party boy. I don't go out. Oh, but it was really funny because they were like best mates. Real, real best mates. And they didn't know how to get over. You know, when they're both being laddish and like kind of, they both so wanted to be best mates again. And um, it all got in the way. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Uh, that's nice, isn't it? Navy check bundle. This is very, very dark navy, this one. Then you've got the raspberry spot on, that lovely check. That is nice, though, isn't it? It does work nice. That, the juxtaposition of this and this are lovely, aren't they? £16.95. and pence. You get three, a half metre of each. Half metre of each. Hmm? What would you make out of this? You see, personally, I don't think I'd put that one with it. Oh, no, I'll tell you what I'd do. I'd do tumbling blocks. Because you need your three very different fabrics to do tumbling box, don't you? I think that'd be quite nice. I'm not sure how tumbling box would work in the check, but I think I'd do tumbling blocks in that. Or uh, you could do you could do a log cabin, I suppose, but that might be a bit too dark. Uh, Gerardine, hello, John. You're such a great presenter. Oh, you're very kind. You're a great presenter with a brilliant personality. You need you need a pay rise. Uh, you need to pay rest for all your appraisal, in my opinion. Gerardine, thank you, but that, that's very sweet. But they pay, pay me so much as it is. They don't, I'm joking, I'm joking. Gillian, John shouldn't have a favourite. Oh, I was thinking you about John shouldn't have a favourite. John, I shouldn't have a favourite, but love, 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 love your shows. Good luck with your appraisal, Gillian. Gillian, it'll be fine. Well, it better be. <laughs> I won't be asking for a pay rest, because we've only been here since January, haven't we? It's just a bit early, right? They'll all be listening there, writing notes now. I'm going to ask for a different dressing room. That's what I'm going to ask for. Nowhere, there's nowhere for one. It's a very, very petite building, this. Barbara, just received my budgie bundle. Oh, Barbara, well done. It's fantastic. So beautifully packaged and super fabrics. Thank you. Love you, John. Have you on while I'm sewing. Babs. Now, you see, funny, isn't it funny about you, Barbara? Like being called Babs. There's another Barbara who lives locally who hates being called Babs or Bar. I know, and it's only, a, it's only a term of affection, but she hates it, doesn't she, Paul? Hi, gorgeous John. Which orange will go with the Amy Butler bundle? Love tonight's dinner idea from Helen in Herefordshire. Ooh, mm. Right, where's the Amy Butler? Oh, I'm doing it now, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it. Right, but I need to get some orange fabric out then. Get Amy, get Amy. <laughs> this will be fun. Get Amy to get one of the oranges out from the, um, and if it's available, in the um, um, spectrum, solid spectrums. Make sure, I think it's not, it's, not, it's not Vienna orange, it's a bit more, that's lovely though, isn't it? We'll have a look, I don't know if I've got any orange here to show you. Let me get a thread, let me just get a thread. Look, you see, that kind of colour would be brilliant, wouldn't it? So what I'll do is we'll get Amy, yeah, but the one nearest this, it needs to be the one nearest this thread. Might be Vienna orange, actually, having said that. Anyway, then you're in this bundle, you also get that. Oh, pumpkin, might be pumpkin, might be pumpkin. I don't think it'd be coral for somehow, but get it out and let's have a look. But make sure it's available, make sure it's available for to bring it in. Look, aren't they nice? I'm doing exactly what they said when we first started the show. When we first started on the channel, they said to me, John, you can't be going halfway through a show. Go get me this, go get me that. And I've started doing it already. But if it helps, if it helps, I want you to have something that helps. Uh, they're lovely though, aren't they, those three together? That's lovely, isn't it? I've got a couple more books. Um, bear with me, because she's got to go to the warehouse to get the um, orange fabric out. But bear with me, bear with me. Right, um, and the thing is, the thing is, you, uh, uh, you can go to the website, choose fabrics, but obviously when you're choosing something you want to match perfectly, colours on websites, not just ours, but colours on websites full stop, are always a little bit, not dubious, but sometimes they don't look the true colour, do they? But if you want to go and look on the website, what you can do, go to the website, www.sewingquarter.com, you go to the top left-hand corner of their shop, you go into fabrics, plain fabric by length, and then you go, now what's that one there? That's, it could be pumpkin. Uh, that coral, I, that, that, yeah, no, but in real life, I don't think, bring it in, bring it in. Are there any more? Where's Vienna orange? Oh, we must have sold out of Vienna orange. 
Oh, that one looks the most likely, but we'll have a look. We'll get, we'll get uh, uh, Amy to bring it in for us now. Oh, Amy, well done. Oh, it might, no, no, it might not be done. No, that's completely wrong. No, it's not pumpkin, not pumpkin. Not your fault, it's not your fault. It's the right one that Paul called for. Um, I think it's more like the Vienna Orange, but we can't find Vienna Orange at the moment, so maybe it's sold out. This is why, this is what happens here. We sell out, or it could be in a bundle that's coming up tomorrow. Natasha might have it in a bundle tomorrow. And then we order more, because th these fabrics just keep going and going and going. But it is a kind of Vienna Orange rather than a bright, bright orange. Anyway, hope that helped, hope that helped. Book. Oh, I haven't been over there yet. Fred's, come with me and we'll do Fred's. Oh, I'm all, I'm all untucked. I'm ever so sorry, man. When I do, when I waft fabrics, all my shirt comes untucked, my wires all come out and everything like that. Right, look at this, right. Now, little Paul, when he was on with Natasha once, and he said, asked her to do something on air, and, he, and uh, she hadn't practised it, you see. And no, nope, she didn't complain, but Hayley, our boss Hayley, said, never, ever, Paul, ask your presenter to do anything on air that they've never done before, right? So I'm on with Hayley the other day, and should we see this, this stand? It folds down. I was like, she said, show everybody how it folds down. I went, I don't, I haven't. And so she's doing what she told little Paul off for doing. So anyway, this thread stand. 60 spool thread rack, 19 pounds, 95 pence. You don't get all the threads with it, obviously. You just get the, the, the thread pack. But look, 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 look. If you turn it to the side here, you can lift, oh, you get that? You lift that and you lift that. Oh, there you go. And it folds down, so if you want it inside a drawer, if you want it inside a drawer, oh, now, it, that's, I've tried it on that one, it's not, that one's not big enough, but it could sit in a drawer. Now, I don't know if you could hang it, uh, Mike's saying, could you hang it on a wall? Oh. No, I wouldn't hang it on a wall, because you'd bang it. Hang on. Oh, yeah, no, no, I tell a fib. Goes like that. Because, look, 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 look on the back, look on the back. There's those funny little keyhole thingies. Mike's obviously done this before, look. So you could hang it on a wall if you wanted to. It's brilliant value, 19 pounds and 95 pence. Every time we bring this, it, it flies out. Absolutely flies out. 1995. I've got two thread packs to show you today. I haven't got any black and white fabric, but what are the first two colours that always run out in your workroom? Black and white. So we said, he said to if you work in Mike, Ginger Mike's, his, his is blue and green. Nine pounds and 95 pence. You get seven thread, three blacks, four whites. For nine pounds and 95 pence. It's a uh, good to burn. Uh, so all. He should, little Paul's just seen the elephant on it, got all excited. Very similar design. Well, no, if you remember, little Paul, we used to sell a pendant with exactly the same design in gold where we were before. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Right, and last but not least over this side, I've got this thread pack. I've got this thread pack here. Got all, uh, let me open it, actually. I am. Was that in your appraisal? Oh, it would help if I could get it out. There we go. Right, so what you get in this kit, in this little package, all the threads that you need there. So you've got black, white, um, ivory, or cream, ecru, no, vanilla, ecru, brown, red, amethyst, dark blue, khaki, air force blue, and silver gray. You also get this little ruler, which in centimetres, which is also a stitch counter. And you get this. Now, I hope this one works. Oh, there you go. Quick unpick. Or oh, seam ripper. Seam ripper. But then what you get on this is at the end, you get this like little beehive and it's uh, rubberized. And when you're, when you know, I'll show you the pictures on the back of the box. When you're unpicking a stitches, like Janice was earlier, and you get all the little threads everywhere. You see, you can use, so you unpick using that end and then use this end to just rub the fabric and then it takes all the little loose ends off it. 
19 pounds and 95 pence. Get rid of all those unwanted whatevers. Fabric bundles. Oh, we've got a draw for first place at the moment. Well, first place was the vegetables overtaken by the Paul on a night out. Now, Amy Butler. Oh, draw, no. Drawing with the chicken. Not that I don't like the chickens, but with the chickens have been very quiet, haven't they? Right, so let's do the chicken one first. What, oh, well, now, that it was on the radio this day. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg, because dinosaurs laid eggs. It's called, well, that's what they said on the Steve Wright show yesterday. Oh, did they? On QI, they said the chicken, apparently. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but, but then, dinosaurs, eggs didn't have chickens in them, did they? So, anyway, look, these are lovely. This is in equal number one place. This is called the Country Blue Fabric. Half a metre of each you get. So you get half a metre of the chickens, half a metre of the gingham, and half a metre of uh, pearl. Nice, that isn't it? Lovely bundle, that one. And if you wanted an accessory colour, you could put red in there, that bright red. Oh, actually, let me just nick it from that. Look. You see, that doesn't... That doesn't come with the bundle, but if you were to get that... Actually, do you know what? Do you know what? Let's be really naughty. Buy both of these bundles. Buy both of these bundles, and look how beautiful they all look together. I'll just get them all in the middle. There you go. Look! So this is one bundle. That's the red bundle. That's called Country Garden. And then this one here is called Country Blue. I love those two together. Aren't they gorgeous? Now, you know where that would look lovely? If you made a quilt and had it on the sofa in the kitchen. Do you know that kind of countryfied look? I'm talking about, I'm talking about escape to the country now, you know, when you go, but you could have a sofa in my kitchen. And I've got a, I've got a sofa in my dining room as well. And obviously a sofa in my... I've got a sofa in my bedroom as well. At the end of the bed, yeah. But now, th th you, th they, these would be £28 for the whole lot here, because obviously this is one bundle and that's another bundle, but I think they look gorgeous together. Oh, I'm like that. I'm, I'm happy with that. £28. Yeah, £28. Plus your postal packaging. But only one postal packaging. Little Paul had to use his calculator for that. I just heard him. <laughs> right, now, before you, before you do... I'm going to do that with two others now. I am. Let me just put these away. No. But these two might go. Let's do it. Well, I'll show you this one first. The Amy Butler floral. As we failed you on the orange... No, it's not your fault. I wasn't blaming you. On. Okay, you need, if you've got this one in your basket, please, please, please check out. There's a lot of people got this one in the baskets. This one's called Aqua. Right, now, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking it would work, but maybe it won't. No, with this one. There's an awful lot of different blues going on, that's all. Let's have a look at that one together. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. Because you've got two different blue spots here. That's what I was worried about. But actually, they work, don't they? So now, this is one bundle. These three are one bundle. That's the aqua bundle. Then these three are the Czech blue fabric bundle that said grey earlier. I think, oh, no, actually, I think that's really fresh, that one, isn't it? Let me just move that up. There you go. Oh, I do like that, because then this is... Because um, Lucy always says, doesn't she, when you're doing a quilt, you have to have one fabric that you rest your eyes on. So that would be the one that your eyes would go to, wouldn't it? And then suddenly ripple out to all the others. 
So the aqua bundle, this one, it, oh no, hang on, this one, sorry, this one, these three here, 14 pounds and 95 pence. These three here, 16.95. Really lovely, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. Okay, moving on. Uh, could you write that one down on your piece of paper for me? Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later. Also, um, if you're confused about which bundle is which, if you go to the web, if you look down there, each of the bundles are photographed. Um, and any fabrics that we've had today that's still available, they're, they're down there underneath us on the internet so you can have a good look. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we're going to the website now. There you go, look. So if you watch on the website, right, then underneath, underneath me there are the five bundles I've got on the table here. And that, that means they're still available. They're not sold out. If they're still there, they're not sold out. So you can see them all there. Right, now I need to go through the other two books because we haven't even done those yet. Do you want me to go through another bundle before I go through a book? Yeah, right. Which one would you like me to do first? Right, let's do Home Sewn Home because we love this one. Um, oh, now, hang on. This one's got, again, all the patterns in the back, which I'll just take out for now. Uh, this is all very retro, very, very vintage, this book by Sally Walton. Look at, I'll just move there, there we go. Uh, look at the teddy bear with the eye patch on. Oh, eye, not eye patch, what's that called? The sleeping mask on. Uh, again, it's got the introduction, all the lovely, fo the photographs in here are just lovely, lush. Oh, look at that apron. Not that one, that one. It's the same one. Look, so um, Nigella, isn't it, this book? This is like, the. this would be the, if Nigella was a seamstress or a sewist, this would he be her book, wouldn't it? Uh, oven gloves. Now look, you could use the vegetable fabric. Our oh, vegetable fabric in here. Oh, ironing board cover. Now you know the red gingham I've got there. We sell that by the half meter. So if you needed more, because you'll need more than half meter to make an ironing board cover. Coffee cozy. I didn't even know they existed. If you have a cafetiere, peg bag. I love old-fashioned things like washing lines and things like that. Pretty girly apron. There'll be enough fabric of the vegetables to make that one. Um, butcher's apron. And we've got that lovely ticking fabric in stock that you can make that one out of. Plastic, and there it is me. Plastic, plastic bag keeper. You're going back to my roots then, isn't it? Now for the bedroom. Uh, nightdress or pyjama case. That's cute, isn't it? Uh, what else have we got in here? Travel shoe bag. Yeah, yeah, what you do is, um, if you've got little feet like little Paul, then you'd need less fabric for that one, wouldn't you? Mind you, those new trainers he's bought are like big. I love these. You can't go wrong with a padded coat hanger. Love, love, love padded coat. If you've got chiffon dresses, if you've got lovely soft blouses, they all need to be on a padded coat hanger. Don't you dare be using a wire coat hanger on those. Eye mask. Oh, that's the word I was looking for earlier. Really. Jewelry roll. Yeah, no, no, I know they fit your feet, but on the outside, they're massive, aren't they? Uh, wash bag. Oh, oh, you can make that and eau de coat it. You can make that one and eau de coat it, couldn't you? If we've got eau de coat in stock still. Then all these lovely instructions. Uh, hair styling bag. Little Paul doesn't need that one. Uh, and then supplies and techniques. Everything you need to make all the projects. This is such a lovely book. £14.95. If you've got any questions, you've got another 15 minutes or so to ask me any questions about the books or the fabrics we've got. Next book, now, let's find, oh, oh no, 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 no. This last book, put the graphic back in, sorry, that's my bad, I just put the book away. It's got all the patterns. Can you see, I know this is gonna glare because it's white, white, but look, storage box pattern. Then on the other side, peg bag, you see, it's got all the life-size, I don't mean life-size, what's the word I'm looking for? Actual size patterns you need there and templates. Brilliant. Then you have to work out how to fold it up again. How weird. Oh, there it goes. That is the way it went. <laughs> Just make it go the way you want it. Right, okay, that all goes in there. And then I've got, now this is where we've got to look for the photoshopped up picture. 
Do you what? I'm not allowed to say that. I'll see her. At, I'll see her. She'll be at Festival of Quilts, won't she? Right, I'll take the picture with me. And when I see her at Festival of Quilts, I'll say, just have your picture taken next to this one, Debs, for me. There she is. She's very pretty, though. Oh, can you see her there? It's like um, one of those, what's that? Um, Dorian Gray, the story of history of Dorian Gray. Oh, so I've gone very sniffy. I do apologise. Yeah, that's all with the painting in the attic, yeah. Right, this is all about bunting. All the different bunting you could ever wish to make. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Right, let's, let's use again. Oh, there's a bigger picture. That's her Debbie with a little kiss. So, tools that you might need, stitches you might need. Simple bunting. If you just want to make a very simple but effective bunting, there's all the instructions, all the pictures. Advent bunting. You see, that'd be good in Christmas at Christmas at July, wouldn't it? Do you like, yeah, Christmas, July. Applique bunting. Oh, I do apologise. I've gone very, very... I don't know if it's my hay fever or not. I've just gone very, very sniffy. Um, arty bunting. That's drawn on bunting. Uh, lampshade bunting. Never heard of lampshade bunting before I came here. You see, little Paul, that'll go with your chandelier, wouldn't it? Oh, it's gone, is it now? Country bunting. Oh, that's right, I remember. Country bumpkin. Halloween bunting. That'll be soon, won't it? When's Halloween? End of October, isn't it? Uh, icicle bunting for Christmas, winter. Jean pocket bunting. Lavender bunting. Oriental bunting with the lovely um, fringes. Pelmet bunting. Pelmets above your, we have above your, above your um, curtains and your blinds. Pocket bunting. That's nice, because look, it's got little pockets at the front. You can keep things in it for your little girl's bedroom, maybe. Ribbon bunting, that's like um, somebody who stitched all the selvages together. You Santa bunting. Little Paul says he's going to make that for the Christmas set. Scrapbook bunting. Steampunk bunting. I never understand steampunk. Uh, table bunting, look at that. Put around your garden table. Bunting bags. Valentine's bunting. Won't need that, will you, Paul? Wedding bunting. No, now I've made, there's one missing, because I'm sure there was one for a sewing room. Oh, I bet that was the page that was stuck together. Hang on, there was a page that was stuck together back here. Hang on. There it is. Sewing room bunting as well. Nine pounds and 95 pence. Nice, isn't it? And then there's another picture. She's, she's got three pictures in the book, and they're all the same picture. Right. To which one? Over there. I couldn't hear what you said. You went all bleary on me. You went all... Okay, no, no, you went all quiet. That was all. Uh, this is nice. More than nice for £19.95. Uh, oh, look, it goes with the, the screen behind me, doesn't it? Isn't it lovely? Now, you can pull the legs. I'm not pulling your leg, Paul, but I can't get this one out for some reason. There we go. £19.95. So you can have it with legs like that, or, of course, you can collapse the legs, hang it on the wall, or put it in a drawer. Oh, Paul's going to have one put on set, apparently. We've got on that one over there. Yeah, but somebody will walk into it and knock it off, and the wallpaper's falling off. It's not a real brick wall, it's wallpaper. £19.95. <coughs> friends, friends. The black and white friends. Always useful, always needed. Guterman, sew all thread. Nine pounds and 95 pence, you get four whites and three blacks. Can't really tell you much about it, really, apart from it's black and white thread and it's nine pound 95. 700 meters. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got this kit now. I've taken it out of the box already. Uh, you get all these threads, black, white, vanilla, latte, uh, chocolate brown, red, amethyst, navy blue, khaki, 
Battleship Grey and Mercury. You get the quick unpick, which is just disappearing, fast disappearing into the box there, with the little um, bumblebee bottom. Oops. And you also get the ruler with the stitch guide on it and everything like that. £19.95. Right, back to the other fabric bundles. Oh, and I've got a message as well. Let me just put that away. I oh, know, I'm sorry. I don't... Um, yeah, I'm looking for the bundle. Is that the chicken bundle? Oh, okay, this one, this one. Uh, nothing yet, I'll tell you in a minute. Yep, Nicola. Did you say from Nicola? Oh, I uh, guess. Hi, John. Just watching you whilst making bunting for a family party next weekend. Great show. Now, have you signed it, Nikki? It's run out halfway through your name. But thank you. Oh, we've got a family party. You see, next weekend, it's been a bit of a mix, mix, mess up. You know our friend Vicky? Uh, she's singing an ABBA tribute on a tour around the world. She's been in Dubai and Germany and everywhere with it. It's in Bromsgrove next Saturday. Not, not tomorrow. And, and I've been waiting for everybody to say, who wants a ticket, who wants a ticket. Anyway, eventually, Hayley rang me and she said, somebody... no tickets left. So I don't know what I'm going to tell Vix. Anyway. Oh, no. I'll have to go to the one in Derby and go with um, Louise, producer Louise. Well, she's not a producer anymore. She's sporting Louise. Hmm? Didn't you like Louise? She, you know, so she's got a fabulous job now. 14 pounds and 95 pence. Oh, yeah. Three and a half metres. Uh, you get the Amy Butler Meadow. Um, it's from the Via Le Violette range, isn't it? 100% uh, cotton. Then you get the lovely spot on. And you get the gorgeous aqua blue for £14.95. OK, you need to check out your basket. You need to check out the basket. At the moment, there's only a couple left. If everybody checks out the baskets, there's only a couple left. Beautiful, that. It is a lovely bundlet. Oh, mine one's fat. So that's gone back to being number two now. So chickens and... Um, have been overtaken again? By the country garden. Now, um, what I think looks lovely is if you get this bundle... Right, well, I'm going to do it differently this time. So you buy this bundle, which is the vegetables. Let me do the... Not the raw edges. Vegetables... If you get the vegetables, the bright red and the red gingham, so that bundle there is £13.95. But then I said, team it with the chickens. So the chickens are the, are the blue ones and the country garden's the red one. Nice, isn't it? I like that. Because also the red in there, let me just move that round to there. The red in there brings out the red in the coxcombs of the chickens and the cockerels. That's nice, isn't it? Beautiful. That's two bundles you're seeing there. So that'd be £28 for the two bundles. Nice, isn't it? Right, let me just put those to that one there. That one there. What, so you take those away and just put the blue with the vegetables? Like that, you mean? I, I think you need to have the red in to tie it all together. That's all you need there. Oh, oh wait, well, either of those reds to just tie it in together, don't you, really? And then the chicken's on top. £13.95 plus £13.95. Right, hang on a sec. Uh, that one goes with that one. Who's <laughs> with that one? I don't want to get them muddled up, do I? I'll get into trouble in my appraisal. I've got a list as long as my arm of things I want to say anyway, so we could be in there for some time. Which one? Oh, Paul's night out. How many things have you complained? And this is it, you see. I've had to do a list about Paul and um, um, Hayley. Hannah, Hannah even, and Hayley. But... Um, They've also, my boss probably has to do a list about me as well, so that could be a very long list. You not have to do a list, Paul. 
because you do, he says there's no point in writing a list because you do everything wrong. Oh, Marcia, how are you, my love? I've got, yep, can you put the flower bundles with the night out bundle? Well, I shall tell you. Isn't it lovely how you've got the names already? So this is Paul's night out bundle, and this is the floral bundle. So, uh, Jane, good morning, John. Can you please tell me if the black and white cotton pack is extra strong thread? You're amazing. Uh, Jane, it's not extra strong. It's just sew it all. It's the, the general purpose sew it all. It's not extra strong. Oh, there's the other fabric. Right, Marcia wants to see Paul's night out. <laughs> you don't, Marcia. Uh, with the floral. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Marcia, Marcia's from Brazil. She's got very... Um, uh, not eclectic, that's not what I'm looking for. Bright, you call it carnival taste, you see. That's nice. That looks lovely together, Marcia, doesn't it? So the, the navy check one, which is this, this, and this, are $16.95. And the aqua is this. Yeah, remember, trousers, shirt, cravat for Little Paul's Night Out. And where's he got? He's gone to the Botanical Gardens. I would just say, or, or a carnival, Brazilian theme bar. There's so much going on in Birmingham, isn't there? Have we got tomorrow's uh, menu? Because I'm not in this weekend. I, I think it's Natasha on all weekend. Oh, it is Natasha all weekend. I'm not in this weekend. I'm back on Monday. So I know I'm not in for three days. Come in for one day. Oh, you're on a Monday. So is that your normal? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, it's, it's very confusing. This month we, we moved around. All, so I haven't got to stop in. I haven't got to stop in the village to pick up Hannah. It was very strange this morning, whizzing through their village and not picking up um, Hannah and, and uh, Jay. What? Oh, should we do the menu now? OK, let, no, no, let's do it now. No, I only, I only remind them, because the other two always forget, don't they, you see? Now, bold, beautiful... Oh, they're doing the cathedral window quilt tomorrow. I love that one. That's, oh, that's with Joe Avery. Is she new? It's her first day tomorrow, isn't it? She's lovely, Joe, for yep. And then Lucy, Lucy's doing the red balloon quilt. And then the improv house quilt. And then cat at oh, that's quilting tomorrow. That'll be beautiful that day. Ooh, mm, a bit jealous. I'm out of tune. Oh, no, I can watch it on YouTube. The cathedral window quilt's lovely. Anyway, I've had a get on, haven't I? Book. What am I doing next? Which one? Wait there. Oh no, I'll come. you can come with me. Come with me, come with me, come with me. Lots of you popped in, popped in for this one. The cat crept in, crept out again. The cat crept, what's that then? Mud, I think that was, wasn't it? Uh, you get to, you're all too young. Thread, you get black, white, um, vanilla, latte, Chocolate, red, amethyst, navy blue, khaki, mer uh, battleship grey and mercury grey, or silvery grey. Uh, you get the quick unpick and you get the ruler with the um, stitch counter for £19.95. Uh, or you can measure buttonholes here. Uh, no, no, you can get, what you do is you count how, you can, uh, where is it? Count how many, you can work out how many stitches you've got in a certain amount of length, that's all it's for. You're doing hand embroidery, so I make sure they're all the same length. £19.95. And, and then, of course, there's the black. I might as well do the black and white one while I'm over here, might I? Uh, it's all just, uh, not just, it's so all. It's not uh, extra strong. Just the so all for your workroom. Oh, is it? No, it's just so all. It says so all there. It says so all there. I knew it was. I, wasn't, I knew I wasn't. Right, Paul's saying they look bigger than normal. Let's have a quick look, shall we? No, Paul, look. Paul's saying they look bigger. Optical illusion, I think. Quick look. Oh! I'm coming back now. I feel... Right, the Amy Butler bundle. You need to check out your baskets. How many minutes? Oh, I've only got two minutes left. Um, check out your baskets for Amy Butler. 
It's called aqua, this one. There's loads of these in baskets. More in baskets than there are confirmed, believe it or not. 14 pounds and nine, it's lovely though, isn't it? What happens is, because we come off air in two minutes, <clears throat> and then everyone starts checking out, so we can sit in the office, and it goes bing, 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 well, it doesn't make a noise, but all those, that's the noise it would make. Oh. We're still live. <laughs> that's uh, new Mike, the cameraman, just walked off. So what would happen now if I started walking over here? Anyway, 14 95 <laughs> It's gorgeous, but you need to check out your baskets. Lot oh, he's back now. Lots and lots and lots of you um, got that in your basket. Aqua bundle fabric, 14 pounds and 95 pence. Right? Chicken, no, not chickens, vegetables. I love this one. Chicken and veg, very good for you if, you, <laughs> if you're on a diet, but I can't, don't eat meats, so it's no good for me. These are neck and neck, right? So you've got the kitchen vegetables, which is called country garden. Which are those three. And then the, this one, which I'm going to throw in on the same picture. Oh. Ch oh, no, I don't want to put chickens there. Oh! Who? Deb says, good luck in your appraisal. Thanks, Debs. Uh, <clears throat> Right, I've got to go. I've only got 10 seconds left. Uh, thanks for your company today. Thanks for all your message. I'll let you know. Well, you'll know. If I'm not in on Monday, you'll know they got rid of me in my appraisal. Um, I, Natasha's in all weekend. Have a great weekend with a gorgeous day lined up tomorrow. I'll see you on Monday, 8 o'clock. Uh... Meet Joe Avery, the latest addition to the Sewing Quarter family. Joe is a talented quilter whose creations have been exhibited all over the world. She'll join us on Saturday, the 15th of July for her debut shows in which she'll demonstrate a cathedral window block and an improv house design. Jo has been sewing and quilting for 25 years, so expect plenty of handy tips and techniques to help you improve your skills. So tune in and help give Jo a warm welcome. That's Saturday the 15th of July at 8am and 10am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.